Oh, yeah. No uh, audio. That would help, wouldn't it? Woohoo! Yeah, um, I was just saying it wasn't aligned very well. It wasn't aligned, so I was like moving it around anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just sending out the link to a couple of people, see if they're bored enough to come on. We shall see who's who's bored. Um, let's try and get some people who are actually there. So, see if we can get any people who are actually there to come on. I'm just going to send um, links to a few people in case they're bored. So, yeah, hello everybody. Yeah, they're, they're, the, the sound should be back uh, by now. Yeah, some people were saying no sound. So, right, I got a pear drop pear drop in my mouth which is not going to be very good if I'm trying to speak so let me get rid of the pear drop and this is why I got fillings because I like to crunch sweets mm. right Derry McKinney hello Mr Anderson um, Mr Anderson Nikki Carl Coombs hello Icy Diamond Paul Robbins Paul Robbins Kerno, Andrew Clark, Ma Martin Myrtin, McCabe, Daniel Draper, Bacon Haven, Bad Gaming, Pork Garden. Oh, Pork Garden was quite uh, was quite woo, spooked out over the uh, the recent um, video we just did with us. Yeah, so we'll no doubt hear more from them. Leon Barrow, Nate Webb, Susan Powell, Susan Solomon, Jamie L, Hidden History with Ray, Sunshine Dragon, Sage Animist, uh, Princess Lozzy Animations, uh, Sarah Burton, Simon B.A., Exploring Ginger, Natalie Lucy Alice, uh, A2021, Safari360, Cliff Sims, uh, Susan Solomon, Mark Urbex, Starkey Boy 85 Bad Gaming, uh, Jamie L, Daniel Draper, um... Mike Hunt. Oh, yeah, right. Fair enough. Mike Hunt. Yeah, well done. Mm. Uh, yeah, Jackie, I'll bring you in in a second. Um, LK Computers. Acute 33. So there's a lot of new names in there tonight. There we are. Pork Garden says, help me. Yeah, indeed. That was one of the things that was said on the recordings. So, um, love the smell of pear drops. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It, what... What is it? Pear? Is that what it smells of? Or is it that Jaron gel? Whatever that is. Uh, Chris Gray. Hello. And Glyn Watkins. There we go. So I think we've covered most of the people who seem to be in the uh, in the chat. So, um, right. Well, we'll see if anybody else wants to come on. But for the moment, uh, we'll just have to put up with this this woman. Oh, thanks. I love yeah. you too. Well, you know. You've got to put up with this woman. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> She's the only woman I'd have in my life, and uh, at that distance, it's about <laughs> as close as I'm about to uh, let it happen. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's good having you as a friend, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but you got to keep, keep. I got to get rid of these women, chase them away with a shitty stick, as they say. Women. Yeah, well, they're just delusional, then, aren't they? <laughs> they're the ones that don't understand. I, I certain circumstances to... women and children <laughs> i leave it to the professionals yeah oh yeah that's why i was glad when mine moved out it's like yes i'm free mm. <laughs> yeah so what's yeah. going on then you're uh, a lot faster and better quality than you normally are so i i would imagine then you've got a different setup yeah i just moved my phone around <laughs> right okay. and i deleted an awful lot of crap off it as well there was an awful lot of stuff backed up on it so it probably slowing it down but when i have to charge it because obviously the charge goes down it overheats and then it cuts out so it's like yeah right but you're gagging to i should come use on. my computer but it's a bit oh. of an ass so. right sorry no, that's okay no you were gagging to come on so i assume that uh, you you quite liked the video then it had something that uh, resonated with you yeah well i've actually i did actually used to uh, be on marks quite a lot but obviously people seem to always be showing on the same time as him so obviously i go to the ones that i was mostly at first so you know obviously but i am obviously i like the paranormal and i like you know knowing a lot I take it all in, and obviously it's all part of history, whether it's good or bad. It's all still a part of history, and it's how things all started out, especially on uh, Alistair Crowley. and mm. Yeah. Well, and, he said he was interested in coming in because he was on there. but um, Yes, he I, was. I thought I've got his... Um, Shock to the devil! I thought that I had his... Um, 
telephone number because I thought somebody uh, oh, gave sugar. it to me. Oh, it's, I'm going to ask questions now. What are traffic lights by Google? So I'm going to just send him send him the link. On... Yeah, I think he said email or something, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, my God, there it was on the screen. So anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we get everybody trying to get on now. No, hopefully not. Um, yeah, just... Just tell to... them to clear off. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Um, hang on, I'm going to send him an email then, right? So there goes my screen again. I send him a quick email if this is his email. That's cool. Oh, that's not his email. Hang on, what am I doing? Submit. Oh, there he is. Right. So, Mark Davis, his name is. Right. Yes, it is. Okay. Mark Davis. Uh, link I'll put in there. Right. Oh, oh. crap. I He's in the actual chat, so you can always send it there, but just don't let any mop it in. Just put it in once. Yeah. Right. I I just... It, you just can't help bringing shit up on the screen. I can't, I can't help myself. Right, there we are. Right. Send. I know. You're terrible, aren't you? <laughs> All right. Apparently, you can't send semicolons in the subject line. What's it saying? It does not wreck... It does not... Oh. <laughs> right. Hang on. Oh, my right. fudge. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, indeed. What am I doing? Exactly. But when I'm trying to do, like, talk to people, I put the StreamYard link in is the to address instead of his email address. And then I and then I put his name in the body of the tech. Oh, yeah. Anyway, right. It's the right way around now. So I've just sent it to him. There we are. It might pop up. Cute. Right. So uh, you were going to say what did what, what, you'd like that video because you have an interest in that sort of stuff? Oh, well, yeah. You are yeah, a Satanist? I, I mean, no, no. I am a witch, but I'm not a Satanist. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, I am interested in a lot of that, but. I mean, yeah, I've been watching and I've been interested and I've had experiences with the uh, paranormal for years anyway. So, but I I always say to my other half, I reckon he's been followed. So, because uh, I've actually had Andrew at my house and he's done an investigation. Right. And I do know that his friend Simon from Ghost Raiders wants to come, but he says, I've got to catch me scorpion first. Right, there's a scorpion <laughs> running around your house. I think it's just in the one room. It can't get. There's no way it can get out. But I reckon because it's been that cold and it's natively to a hotter country, I reckon it's dead. Hmm. I reckon it's dead. I'm just waiting for the smell because you can. There's a smell you just don't forget. When you smell it, you know it. When something's died, it can be anything. Doesn't matter how big or small. That smell is so familiar. It's horrible. Yeah. So. That's what I'd be waiting for next, and then I'll probably be able to locate it. But mind you, though, there's no way in hell when rats die because I've had rats like in the loft and things, and when they die, um, they've eaten yes. poison and things. They don't smell like uh, you know, like I don't know, foxes and badgers and deer. Because I mean, when they start rotting, they have a particular smell. But you yeah. know, like a rat doesn't smell quite the same. You know, know. It has this like, weird rotting smell, but not the same. Hey, we've got uh, a skull person. He looks a bit like a skull. He wants to come in. Look, there he is. <laughs> he's got oh, two, two big, eyes, big eyes, and his his logo is a skull. Now I don't even know you could do that on Streamyard. I didn't know you could get <laughs> logos like that. Oh, is a not is a not case this one? No, yeah. Wrong way down there. Captain, <laughs> Captain Shorts. Yeah, I want. <laughs> I got warned short. about his short pants. Well, yeah, and, and the thing is, right? Your uh, is it your partner or your friend, Haley? She's my friend. She's your friend. Now, obviously, you've been been influencing her because now she's trying to sort of copy you, and she was wearing shorts as well. And I thought you were both insane. She was copying me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on? Yeah, she's trying to. <laughs> she's trying to be like, you know, we'll all wear the same color tops and and sort of, you know, we're all we'll all wear the same clothes. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, pair of you see cases. married couples doing it, don't you? You see married couples getting up to that sort of. <laughs> We're also wearing the same sort of shell suit together. Whoops. It's gonna be the same <laughs> shell suit. Shell suit. <laughs> oh God, don't get him going. Hey, hey, hey. 
Well, just having a laugh anyway. But um, hey, I tell you what, you you haven't got your thing on a tripod. You couldn't like tilt it down a bit, could you? So we can see. We want to see it. We want to see your breasts. That's what it is. All oh, right, man, hold on. We want to see man breasts. Hold on a minute. How's okay. that? A little, little bit, bit lower, better. Mark. A little bit lower. Can't go any lower than that. Bloody hell. No, we don't How's want that? to see. We don't want to see a cross. No, we don't want to see your bald head. Yeah. God, he's off on one again. Are you showing us your uh, <laughs> artworks now? Yeah, right. <laughs> There we are. That'll do. That'll do. Never mind. I mean, it's just I'm I'm one of these guys that likes to use the real estate, you know, sort of like uh, sort of welcome to the secret vault. How are you today? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I'm just lying on the couch. Oh right. Okay. See, well, we don't want to disturb you too much. But how are you doing, man? I'm all right, Matt. How are you? Good. Very good. Yeah. I don't yeah, recognize I'm you just, so much because uh... you had your hood up a lot, you know, when you were on the the thing. It's freezing. Yeah, it's freezing. Yeah, yeah it's... you say you're freezing, but you wear them flipping pants. It's just enough to make anybody feel cold. It's you, a northerner you, thing. Do you know this woman, by the way? Yeah, she's been stalking me for two years. I don't know what's going on. I know she tries, she tries you to get on my sword. videos as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Jackie? I'm fine. How are you, dude? I'm all right. All right, just chilling out, waiting for the weekend now. That's the problem. You go on the same time as somebody else, and you've already met him now, Dan Dixon. Oh, is he on? Dan. No, no, you won't be. No, not today. Oh, on Saturday, uh, usually mean... on a Saturday, doesn't he? Yeah, you mean. Uh, yeah. So it's yeah, uh, Ghost Adventures Cornwall. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he, he's a Liverpool fan, I'm afraid. Liverpool. <laughs> Something to do with the accent. I'd never well. guess there, Mike. I'd never guess that. <laughs> all, right. all right. Calm down. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. They do do that, though, don't they, though? <laughs> oh, God, no. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mitchell says, I bet he's got his shorts on now. I have. There he of course are. he has. Of course he, he has, lives yeah. in them. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got 10 pairs. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Yeah. I've you can always that. spot a northerner in Cornwall. They'll be wearing shorts. Well, yeah, but uh, in the middle of winter down south, it's like it's like you know paradise, isn't it? It just it began when um, it began about five years ago. Because I used oh. to have a sauna every day. Unfortunately, because of this lockdown, I haven't had a sauna for about a year. But when you have a sauna, you're boiling when you come out. So natural thing to do is just wear shorts, and it's just stuck with me. Hmm. And you're swimming. Swimming. Get back you to swimming in two weeks. Mm. Hey, it's been a long Ur time. Urbex with Taffy is in the chat. Oh, right, yeah. That cra that other crazy one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're going on that quiz on Saturday as well, aren't you? On uh, Gavs. I'm going, yes, exactly, yeah. He just sent me a... Oh, no, he didn't. He sent me a message earlier on. I haven't read it yet. Yeah. I listened to that. Yeah, we haven't had any uh, responses or takers from uh, people uh, saying they want to come on. So, what's this? Twenty oh two. I'll send him the link as well, just in case he wants to come on. But um, yeah, it'd be nice to. to I, I I've just sent the link to Dan and Andrew and to uh, Simon from Derelict Plymouth and Earth. In fact, I could send it to his um, mate Dave as well, who was there, because I I very rarely remember to actually say hello to dave uh who is a lord dave as well he's the idea he's the guy who gave me the idea of getting a lord title so yeah ah so it's his fault uh this lord thing came about yeah lord <laughs> lord vader yeah so um yeah mark uh so you introduced us to this place when we got up there you know you obviously took us on the uh the walk up there I still think, from looking at my drone footage, that it, it's actually easier to get from the main road further up because you come more in at a slight, slighter angle. You have to try that one sometime. Oh, look at this. Look at this thing I've got here. What is this thing? Oh, no. Yeah. What is this? Look, it's double-ended for, for more action. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's thing like... is, though, is it a longer walk the other way? Um, it's four, <coughs> 470 metres. Do you want me to work it out which way, which way is quicker? But it's, it's 470 metres, but it's not uphill. 
it's, it's more of a straight line. Uh, so I'm not saying it's a bad route the way we came, but it's def it's definitely um, it's definitely more uphill. I think so anyway. But looking at it, right, it looks about the same actually. Let me measure the distance because I have got the technology here to actually tell you the exact distance that we walked. Right. So maybe, Ooh. maybe you've actually, maybe you've actually found the original um, drive-through that went down to the village. Right. Ooh. Okay. Well, actually, the way we went was five hundred meters. The way that's from the house directly to the road uh, is only four hundred and seventy meters. Is it? Let me just double check that again. Is it 400 and, uh, 447? So it's 50 metres less. But Bloody hell, that's I got a bit a of a cut down, isn't it? Yeah, I've got a feeling it is, it is easier the other way because when you come down that road, you go all the way to the bottom of the hill and then you go along that trackway, don't you? And the track's fairly flat, isn't it? But when you come through the village, well, past the turning of the village and you're going uphill, 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 when you get to the top up there then you cut you can can cut across so right we did mention that when we was driving down the hill i wonder if you can go through that yeah mm. i mean it's basically the path is from the house called the eagle's nest right where you can you know that that is sort of like pretty much level you know and i actually parked by the eagle's nest and called everybody and they said oh we're down the bottom so i drove down but um yeah if I go there again, I'll give it a go because I'm I'm all for lazy me. I'm really all for like yeah. you know, yeah. Um, there's supposed to be there's supposed to be another abandoned house up there on the moors there as well, Matt. Somewhere. All right. So Is that maybe the one you're that you're sitting in the drone, or when you look no, it's when you looked out. You said oh, I can see another house from here, and that's when you went up on the roof, Matt. Uh, yeah, but the Matt. lights were on, so there was definitely somebody living in that one. Uh, no, and it wasn't that one. far away. It was on the level that we were at as well. It was up on the moors. So there clearly is some way to get up there, you know, but they're right out in the middle of middle of nowhere. Um, this is this is a good point, um, Mark, to uh, uh, take up with you because some people came on earlier on. Well, there's a few points, actually. Somebody came on saying, oh, you shouldn't be up there. That's private property and uh, that's been sold. And I said, "Well, what's it to do with you?" And they didn't really say what it was to do with them, but they were being a bit, uppity. <laughs> they were being a bit uppity about it. And they said, "Like you know, you you know, people keep going up there and destroying it." And it's like, "Well, I don't think so. It's been destroyed like that for umpteen years." And and the thing is, if somebody has bought it, then all they've done is left it in exactly the same state as it's in. So, I mean, you know, you want somebody to stop going in your property, do it up, put windows in it. Put an alarm in it, and people will stop going in it. You know, that's my philosophy. But the way it is at the moment, the doors are open, the windows are open, everything's blown through. I mean, it's just it's just asking for people to go in, really, isn't it? It's it's in the same state it was three years ago. Yeah, I don't even think it's been sold. I'm yeah. going to find out when this lockdown's over. I'm going to actually go into the village, into the cafe. And I'm going to speak to the woman that I know that did own it. Yeah. And then I'll find yeah. out the truth. Well, the, the thing is, um, she said, did I have permission off the off the the owner to be there? And I said, not really. No, no. You know, like, why would I? I mean, it's just totally abandoned. But they were getting a bit uppity about it. And then um, somebody else came on then. And what did they say? Uh, is there any direct evidence to say that this is... Um, you know, Crowley's abode. He stayed there for a, a bit, or it was his house. Now, I, I yeah. read it in a newspaper about it, um, and they were referencing that somebody, one of his biographers, had uh, kind of mentioned it. But up until recently, it had never really come about, never, not, you know, sort of not been mentioned until fairly recently. So one of his biographers uh, put something in about it. But he definitely had a kid... <coughs> with somebody in Cornwall, that is absolute. But, you know, whether or not he used that place or not is another is another thing. But, I mean, you can see how many people have been up there over the years daubing, you know, graffiti. So everybody's got the same idea from somewhere. So it's not just a little idea that somebody's pl plucked out of their head. There must be some sort of basis somewhere for, for that. What, what's your feelings on it? Well, his son... 
was born in Newcastle, I believe. Mm -hmm. But um, his mum is a Cornish girl. And the son was grown. He grew up uh, about five minutes drive of that from that actual premises. Now, there is photographs of Crowley in Cornwall around um, the ancient monuments and that. And obviously, when you hear um, old folk stories and things like that, there's always some kind of truth on the basis of it, whether it's the exact truth or not. There'll always be some sort of beginning of such and such a person being in that vicinity as such, you know. But I believe he was there. The evidence that we captured the other night, audio-wise, I mean, I've, I've slowed it down. I've raised the volume, and there is no doubt whatsoever that says Alistair Crowley. It says Alistair. It's all multiple times. You, you, I mean, how can you even say it's um, coincidence that that's coming through the, the radio like that? You're asking for direct names, and you're getting direct responses. Mm. Now, when I've been there in the past, I've had, through my radio, we call him Alistair Crowley, the priest. Now, I didn't know too much about the guy. I didn't even know he was a priest, but he was. He classed himself as a priest. He started his own religion. And um, the, the actual um, format in which he did his magic, had to have the door had to be to the north or something um, for him to do his casting. Well, there's a door on the north there. It's surrounded by ley lines, which is perfect for what he would want to do because he knew all about that stuff. Um, there's ancient burial grounds up the top there. And I've got no doubt whatsoever that he actually visited that place to do his magic. No doubt whatsoever. And that's why I went there. And that's why I'm glad you went there and we received that information. Yeah, but the well, EVP... Yeah. There were two places I'd heard he'd lived in the UK. Um, well, there's three, in fact. There was there's Hastings. There's um, Bolskin in uh, Loch Ness. And there was this place in Cornwall. I mean, he was... He, where was he born now? Um forget where he was born you probably know more about it than me but um yeah so he's basically his his own houses he's lived in um i noticed that um the oto i looked up some symbols to put in the documentary and the oto was mentioned in the front of an early copy of the book um what was it the book of the law and at the bottom it had an address in london one one six five or one eight five holborn in london and I was just thinking, I wonder what's there to, to this day. I wonder what's actually in that premises to this day. Mm -hmm. It might still be owned by some sort of organisation. You know, it'd be interesting to find out. Yeah. I don't think he owned that house um, on the moor. He just used it as um, a holiday sort of retreat to do whatever he was doing. Don't forget, he was a high Freemason. He was high up in the order. Mm -hmm. So he had some connections, that man. Yeah. A Freemason and uh, obviously a magician from a couple of different areas. I mean, there was the Golden Dawn, which is the first thing he got into. And then yeah. he went on probably through Freemasonry and uh, connections to, to go into the OTO, which is the Ordo Templar Orientis, which um, uh, he then made an offshoot of that. And became the UK representative for the OTO. So, you know, everyone in the UK wanted to learn about magic of that black sort of or dark type would go through Alistair Crowley. So he would be the, the first point of contact for people. Uh, but then he sort of developed his own kind of uh, magic stuff and uh, called it the AA, I think it was. Is that correct? Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No. Not I don't know loads about familiar. him, to be honest. No, no. Yeah. I only know a set, a set piece on him, really. Yeah, but I mean, you know, they are uh, sort of well, you know, they are well known all over the world. These organisations for you know being involved in this like this stuff. I mean, Jackie, do you know any about anything about these things? Are you more more into it than? No, the pain in the neck downstairs will though. 
because he's he knows quite a bit about Alistair Crowley and his uh, yeah mysterious things. But mm. I'd end up having to shout him. Mm. <laughs> I'll do it. In a, I'll, I'll bring try and bring him up in a minute. See if he'll say anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, somebody say my mic's a bit low. All right, I shall turn it up just for you guys. There you go. I have a bit more volume on me. It's free. Um, yeah, Alistair Crowley okay. was, was a nutter who held lots of orgies. They're saying um, he may he may have done that um, because he was into sex magic. So I think that would go hand in hand really with starting a religion where you believe that uh, sex and certainly the orgasm. The, the point of orgasm was considered a magical accelerant. So uh, I think the way they put it is kind of like prayer energy or doing spells is all well and good. But realist, you know, the, their, their thought was that to sort of like fast track you to the point of the, the, the spell or, you know, praying and praying and praying for something to come into existence, you know, you could actually just fast track that by doing a magical ceremony where an orgasm is involved and then you put your energy into that. Uh, so, yeah, they they ended up calling it sex magic. Um, so, right. yeah, he was, he was well into his drugs. I think he used to drug people that uh, he took out, um, you know, when he was doing these ceremonies. They would A lot of them would be drugged. So there would be sex, there would be drugs. Um, I even remember uh, hearing a story about him taking one of his... Um, uh people that he he was kind of like uh teaching out to Egypt and uh he, he took him on a like a walk through the desert to to basically disorient and uh, drain them of all energy and when they were at their yeah. low, lowest point and they were hallucinating and needed water it was at that point that he he bent over and and said to this other guy right give it to me now and this guy had never done anything with Alistair Crowley before, but he was like, now. And it was like, wow. appar apparently, um, the guy never recovered from, from that. Uh, it sort of blew his blew his mind and blew him spiritually. That was it. So, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, that's right. Did Matt change his name to Satanic Vault? I did, yes, because of the nature of the... Um... Oh, God. Do Not there. me this time. Yeah, really? <laughs> Well, you want to, re yeah, the people literally want me to give them computer help and ring me at nine o'clock at night. Well done. Yeah, I'm going to be very receptive there. Yeah. No, usually don't you get my vid at silly o'clock in the morning as well. Yeah. So that's going on vibrate now. Thank you very much. So it was Egypt, wasn't it, where he was supposed to have um, evoked, was it a spirit guide or something, which looked like a great. Look a bit what like an alien. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah, he he um he he married a a woman, had a had a girl, kind of they became a bit estranged. I think he, he went with a mistress then when he was in Egypt when whilst he was still married, and he distanced himself from the the wife and his daughter actually died. Um I think she got a an illness and died and he sort of blamed his original wife for this um but then he went off with this mistress now this mistress and he went into the uh king's chamber in the pyramids and i think uh crowley was trying to show off by sort of doing a ceremony in there or something but what what ended up happening was the spirit that he was hoping he would have contact from went through the the woman he was with so um, then about that time, he kind of did some more ceremonies. And I think it, something then so like it diverted across to him. And that's when he wrote down this book of the law. So right. that's, that's what I uh, I recall. It's kind of like we did that when he was in Egypt. And uh, yeah, God knows what he was under the influence of. Somebody earlier on said that he was um, a junkie towards the end. He died uh, addicted to heroin. So. He was, he was on all sorts, wasn't he? Mm. When those sort of yeah. things were a lot easier to get hold of, I think, as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Victorians didn't give a shit if you took heroin. They'd sell you cocaine across the counter back then. So it sounds bad yeah. now, but back in the day, I mean, these these things weren't even considered <coughs> a problem. <coughs> a problem. 
Jackie's getting... Yeah, you had your snuff, didn't you? <laughs> Earlier. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier. <sighs> so, um... <laughs> But anyway, uh, so Mark, you you obviously took us up there, and uh, you know you've had experiences um, over the years. So how did it kind of start for you then? You know, did you start having some experiences and then went back again and again, or and what? How did it start for you? You know, early days, and do you want to sort of work your way up to kind of what you've been go going and getting recently? You mean in regards to Crowley? Well, yeah, maybe about the the house. I'm trying to keep it sort of topic uh, on, yeah. on yeah i mean you um, can tell tell us a little bit about yourself if you want you know how you got started and then we'll go into the uh into the crowley house we'll come back to that um well i started seeing things when i was a child uh i was brought up as a catholic i'm from a traveler family and um we were basically moved from rill in wales to a place in liverpool and um, I was born in a place called Sefton Park Hospital, but it was back then it was part of Lancashire, Liverpool. And being raised as a Catholic and that, you was basically told it's uh, heaven or hell. There's no such thing as ghosts and stuff. And I kept seeing things. And I just um, remember talking to the priest one day about it. And he said, there's no such thing. And I said, well, what's the Holy Ghost? And I just remember getting a smack across the head. <laughs> How dare you like <laughs> Out there, you like question me, sort of thing. But as I grew up, I started to get experiences in the in my twenties, and um, I left the dental the thirties, and I started getting more experiences. So I started to take it further. So, yeah, I started getting into the paranormal on YouTube, following uh, Proven Demons with his ghost box sessions and that, and I just progressed from there. With the Crowley situation, it was in a place. On the, on the internet called Cornwall Live, which is a news agency. And they mentioned about him living there and how he raised the devil in the church, which was down in the, in the village. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I set out to find the place myself, found it eventually, um, stayed for about half an hour, left. And then I went back about six months later and captured some just crazy communication through the ghost box. But I couldn't hear it at the time. It wasn't until I listened back, I was actually getting direct responses. We call him Alistair Crowley, the priest. And in one of the sections, I've actually got his voice talking to me. And you, if you check it on my channel, you can compare it yourself to his actual voice. He had a strange voice, Absolutely. strange tone to his voice. Could you know that? Yeah. And it sounds exactly like him. And the words were to me, keep practicing and that was it i was like whoa when i listened to it i thought what mm. if someone sent me his voice i was like what because you know there's not a lot of audio about of alistair crowley but when i listened to it i was like what that's his voice mm. <laughs> i was like this place he's been here he actually been here that's all the proof i needed yeah, I mean, I, I haven't actually listened to your video with that in yet, because, I mean, uh, since I've been back, I've been doing other things, but I should actually try and listen to that um, and see what it's got, got to say, you know. Um, yeah, that sounds interesting. And, uh, I mean, uh, by the way, Jackie, I muted you because you were going blah, 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 when we were on. Yeah, yeah. You, there is a mute button, Jackie, if you're going to go like blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll trust you too in the future. So, uh, yeah. Right. Uh, so, yeah, you went back and you had these um, these voices and you've obviously uh, now done done this with Andrew recently because he's never been there before. That's right. That's his first time there. Shame we can't get you to tilt your camera down because you got your, your chin is kind of right in the old. Uh, yeah, right in their words. Ghost Adventures of Cornwall. It's either that, or if we change your name from Ghost Adventures of Cornwall, because that, that's just what change it was. It a minute. I was going to say you just changed it, and then that's I've right. Never done that before, Dan. Yeah. Let me just let me just put a dot. Yeah, that's right. And then it won't. <laughs> there you there go. You go. <laughs> that's it. Now we now we don't not covering up your chin. That's good. Um, it's so you, my fault because I'm just relaxing on the couch, laying back. I don't use a computer table like you, you know. Well, that's it. I just I just put my laptop on my knee. 
It's it's hard when you've got a phone, isn't it? Because if you try to point it towards yourself, it's very likely to fall over. But if you tilt it back, which means it's looking up in the sky. But yeah, I know what you mean, though. It's not an easy one. So, um, yeah, well, I mean, I didn't I didn't get any like weird foreboding feelings when I first got up there. I mean, I must be honest, apart from the fact that I had a bit of a bad back at one point, um, and I was I was kind of excited with the thrill of uh, stuff was going on. Um, but I didn't get any weird like negative vibes from being there. But I do think that there seemed like there was a fair bit of activity of um, things coming across the spirit box that seemed of interest, you know. So that was that was something. What What are your thoughts I think the on, conditions, on that? I think the conditions have got to be right as well. I you know like a full moon. Um, I think you'd get a lot more activity. Um, I'm going to go back again. I want to know what's underneath that floor for a start. Mm. <laughs> I just can't, can't help myself. I've got to. I've got to find out. Well, that little hole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That little hole. That's right. Well, you, you should be able to lift it up and have a look, and then just place it back, isn't it? So it's not going to cause any real damage. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, I wonder if people were saying they thought there might be some bodies buried under the under the bloody place. It's it's possible. It, it's possible. God knows. I mean, those moors are very remote, and you never know what could happen up there, really. But I mean, I don't remember hearing any uh, discussion about whether or not you know people had gone missing and and he was thought to be a potential culprit or something. I've never heard anything like that. But then, would you? That's the thing. Well, this is the thing. You know, with him being so high up in um, the orders and stuff like that, have you? If you think about all the children that went vanishing in the 1900s from care homes and stuff, who have never been found, imagine what it was like in his time. You know, uh, people were just living in the streets, underground. Kids could have gone missing easily, especially yeah. Cornwall. Cornwall still has what we call, like, uh, well, Andrew named it, a concentration camp. Um, it's basically where they, it, it, it was a crime to be poor in the 18th century. And you'd be stuck in basically a prison and you would have to work for your food. You'd have to wear a uniform. You'd have um, a number. And um, that was your life. You know, you didn't commit no crimes. You was just poor. And a lot of a lot of children, a lot of people went missing and they were never seen again. So it's quite possible anything could have happened in that house. Yeah. Oh, we've got somebody else wants to come in. Hello, should we bring in uh, our favourite uh, favourite oh, explorer him. from Portsmouth? In fact, the only, the I, only I, explorer I, we know from Portsmouth. Well, him and his brother, Bacon Haven. He looks a bit like me, doesn't he? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, your brother? We often or Mark? Yeah, we often get confused. Yeah. No, you two look alike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. We'll, yeah, have to not cases. we'll have to switch positions so that we're sort of like on the same, <laughs> yeah, on the same level. But keep um, chopping and changing. Yeah, well, I forgot to put my my ticker tape banner on. There we are, ticker tape banner. Oh, oh that's yeah. going to get that's going to get in in where his chin is as well now, isn't it? So maybe I won't have it. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, if if somebody if people do want to donate, by the way, um, there's the, the instructions are down there. Live stream donations now we're doing through Streamlabs. Because um, it means that fifty percent of it don't go to YouTube anymore, because that was shit. So uh, yeah, um, more fool YouTube for being greedy, because a lot of people are coming away from doing uh, the um, what you call it, super chats. Yeah, yeah, those things. So anyway, yeah. But thanks to everybody Ripple. who's uh, who's donated recently. Thank you very much. You're you're keeping our petrol overflowing, so we can go on these explores. But how you it's an expensive pastime? It is, yeah. It's it's, it's petrol is a, is a mad one, isn't it? Yeah. So how are you doing there, uh, Mister Alex? What's been going on? Yeah, good mate. Um, just been at work today. Yep. Mm. Not not a lot. Looking forward to the weekend. You did your live last night as well, didn't you, dude? I did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it went quite well. Yes. Yeah, I got, I'm getting I, used I, to this live malarkey. I was getting tired towards the end. Yeah, I got fin I got finished off uh, in the end. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so 
Yes. But um, you looked absolutely cream crackered last night. Oh, you yeah. did, Matt. You was uh, yeah, dazed and confused. Some, I think something was was sending me to sleep. I don't know what it would have been. Yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But right, um, did you, uh, you know, vacant? Have you seen? Uh, oh my God, we've got loads of them coming in now. Look, we've got hidden history with Ray. There we are. Look, so bring him in as well. Hello, okay, so how are you doing, Ray? All right. Hi, Ray. Yeah. So, Hi, Jackie. Right. Have you? Did you see the video? Um, I think Ray was in there for a bit, and I did see your name towards the end, Mister Vacant. I joined towards the end. I saw from the, you know, where he's getting the devil come yes. through. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Did, could you hear it? Uh, could you hear the same sort of things as we were? So, sort of like, you know. Yeah, I don't know whether that was because you put the, I don't know with these things you put the subtitles up, don't you? What you think you've heard, whether that. Yeah, it it is it is a hard one because you kind of like listen and listen and listen, and when you get an idea of what it is, but I I find that it does help me sometimes because um, I do find it hard to kind of hear what what's there. And it's easier when you're there in person. So it's, um, you know, it's one of those. I suppose some people might actually say, oh, I think it sounds like something else. But, you know, I kind of agree yeah. that it, it's funny because those sounds, um, you could hear like the popping of the fire and you could hear um, like this whispering across the top, you know, which was very different. Mm. So the, the sounds, the popping and crackling, the, the rest of the sounds we were get, getting. So, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So, when you were there, was it quite clear to you what was manifesting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it it did seem pretty clear, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I mean, I I heard at the beginning a couple of times it sounded like it was like Alistair Alistair Crowley, and it was like straight away when he put the the thing on, I was like, it didn't come out quite as clear as. Uh, as that when I heard it it was like it didn't quite sound the same but the moment he started doing it I thought I heard it straight away straight away bang bang you know and it was like wow so I thought it jumped out but yeah so so yeah I joined at the point where obviously Dan was in that sort of pentagram type thing yeah and you were reading some sort of what what were you reeling off it was like Latin or it's the Kabbalah it's um, it's the uh, magic practice for the Jewish tradition, you know, sort of Hebrew. Right. You know, it's it's Hebrew letters um, make up the magic Kabbalah. You know, that's what it's all written in, and it's been translated. But uh, yeah, those are sort of uh, you know words, phrases out of Jewish language, and um, yeah, I think it's is it a ramen, is it? Well, I think uh, he, Hebrew, Hebrew, is it? I'm or, not sure. Uh, Aramaic, I Does, don't know. Doesn't it link to um, the Watchers? Isn't that Kabbalah thing? Isn't that supposed to be to do with the Watchers, um, like fallen angels, what they call them? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Nephilim, yeah. he says. Nephilim, from behind yeah. me. Nephilim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Nephilim, that's more sort of, um, mm. uh, what are they, um... They were the children. Sumerian. Sumerian. Weren't they the children? Yeah. What the Nephilim were the children? Oh, half human, half angel. They're yes. the children of the fallen ones. Yeah. Yeah. They bred. Oh. They the gods came down and uh, took you know took wives basically. They had the gods had sex with you know sort of like mortal people and created like a hybrid race. I mean, some people said that uh, some of those were they became giants. There was a kind of like, yeah, I mean, in the Bible, I think it says that some of these would like giants. So I'm not, I'm not a, a Bible right. expert. It I'm says just, Greek mythology as well. Mm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just really interested in the Sumerian um, period. They, they were quite sort of uh, weird. Mm. Seen a lot of the stuff in the Louvre, like all the Sumerian sculptures and stuff, you know, mm. where they're wings obviously they they've themselves who mixed with gods who were mazda who were mazda i can't bloody say that say that again who were mazda all right a who were mazda i can't bloody say that <laughs> a who were mazda what like lieutenant Uhuru, that's what he's saying L lieutenant Uhuru from star trek <laughs> drives a mazda drives a mazda yeah 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> but back to this, back to the serious points. And as we got Mark here, so um, uh, you know, um, so so Mark, what do you what do you think about what happened that night? Then I mean, you know, you saw the video, and uh, you've probably seen Andrews as well. I mean, I thought it was quite a an interesting night of activity, really. I mean, more than you get a lot, lot in a lot of times. You know, sometimes you don't get that much stuff happening, but it seemed no. fairly direct. I mean, we could have gone on. I think we could have just gone on and taken it to the next level. So, you know, but I think we should have because you even said, you know, the energies are getting stronger now. But it, we just seem to pack it in. We shouldn't have. <laughs> but we did. We did have a lot of places planned for that night, didn't we? So time was um, of the essence. Of the yeah. Essence, yeah. And it did, it but it's did... really, it's really weird because when we left there, we was on the A30, and the tire blew out. If you remember, if yeah. it wasn't for Matt, we yeah. wouldn't have been able to change the wheel. <laughs> yeah, they had a tire blowout, and uh, God, it was a, a new car, wasn't it? So she hadn't had it long, but whoever mm. tightened those bloody nuts on, oh my God, because they gave they gave a little wheel thing like that. And like literally, there's no way that you'd have ever been able to have got that thing off. I had to put one on that was about that long, and I was jumping up and down on it at that long, you know, to get it to to Jesus. undo. So you you can imagine with that, you'd have had to have broken your foot, or you'd have to have got a rock and smashing it against this thing, and it just it it wasn't fit for purpose really that thing that came with it. But very no. lucky to have got that off, um, because it was a real. Real pig, that one. So Yeah, he was our guardian angel that night, I can tell you. Bloody hell. That would have been a, a nasty one. Like, you know, it was it's quite... Uh, well, it, it wasn't raining, was it, afterwards? It stopped raining. But up no. on that moor, it was pretty uh, pretty grim. <laughs> Especially trying to find the drone. <laughs> oh, God. Trying to find the drone? What do you mean? No, you lost He's a nutcase, that Dan, isn't he? Da Dan took his he's drone off. And when he was flying up there, he, he realised he was running out of power, so he safety landed it somewhere where he thought, oh, I, I'll go and get that. But I thought, as we were walking up there, I thought he'd gone and got it. Then we find out at the end of the night, he goes, oh, I'm going to go get my drone now. And I'm like, what? Hang on, it's been pissing down with rain. You've left your drone out on the moors. <laughs> oh, no. But he said it was all right. <laughs> He'd just get another one. Is it not case? He'd just get another one if it if it goes wrong. Made of money, mate. Made of money. <laughs> yeah. Is a nutcase. <laughs> Bless him. So, um, yeah. So, uh, I mean, the the whole kind of atmosphere in there. I mean, you know, it was it was a sort of like flat. I didn't really feel any sort of like negative presence or any negative weirdness there. But I mean, I did have my my back was like started playing up, as you say. You know, I've heard people say a lot of the time you get water. You know the the spirits like take water in order to kind of manifest and things. So yeah. what's your what's your feelings on that, Mark? That's what I said. That's what I said that night. Um, because I, I said first of all my back is starting to ache, and then you had it in the exact same place as me. Andrew said he had it, and I was always taught um because I was in a circle as well where I was learning about spiritual uh, matters. I was told that um your kidneys get affected, spirits use the water for um, as a conductor. And obviously with your kidneys having all that water, that's where your back starts to hurt. Um, it usually starts um, in the lower section and then goes up to the middle. But it was just straight in the middle that night. It was like, it's like someone was punching me in the back. It was that bad. Mm. But it was weird that the three of us had it. But Hayley actually said to me um, in the car that she was going to throw up, but she didn't want to say it on the camera. Oh wow! At that time, and that was afterwards, was it? When you'd come away from the place? Yeah, yeah. In the car, she said she was going to throw up. Oh. When we had the back, when we had the back pains, she because she was knelt down recording, she felt like throwing up. Oh. But if we'd have continued, I think we would have got um, stronger evidence. I I think you know there's uh, you know. Based on what we saw and what happened, uh, there's a good chance we may end up going back there again, I would have thought. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going back anyway. Um, I know Andrew said he's going to go back for the lockdown with Dan. Yeah, I mean, I have to have a chat with Dan because I'd really like to see that place in uh, Scotland. But the only trouble is... 
because Carl went up there and did a did a thing, and uh, I know the people who own it they kicked off a bit, saying like you've got no right to be up there and all this sort of stuff, and they're, they're now living on site. They got a caravan there, and they're kind of living there whilst they're doing the place back up, apparently. So mm. I would have thought that if we were going to go up there, we we probably need to make contact with them to say you know is this going to be all right because if we turn up there it's a long way to go and turn up there and they're living on a bloody site and they go like nope you know so we'll have to find yeah out. is it like i mentioned though is this like an occult section that are claiming to own all these places you know with, with the crowley right. stuff in cornwall getting the same stuff or is it yeah. just a thing to make us stay away well, it's, Did it's he fun. have much family, Crowley? Hmm? Did he have much family, sort of? Um, yeah, he had to children. inherit stuff. Yeah. 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 The estate. Barbara Bush is supposed to be one of his daughters. You reckon? That's what he said. He says Barbara Bush is meant to be one of his daughters, according to this one behind me. Legit. Oh, legitimate. Oh, Crowley. Crowley is Barbara Bush's uh, son. What? Really? Barbara no. Bush? No, hmm. no. Barbara Bush is meant to be uh, Crowley's legitimate daughter. Oh, daughter. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. If you if you put up a picture of them both, apparently they look alike. Barbara. They're Bush. like twins. Barbara Bush and Alistair Crowley. If you type that in Google, she's weird looking. Right. Yeah, they they yeah, they look like. They look like twins, which is really weird. Barbara Bush. Yeah, uh, yeah she is. Barbara Bush. All right, okay. Oh, she does look a bit like him with the eyes there. That's a bit weird. Hang on, I don't. Know if you, I don't know if you can. I don't like, know if you can. I don't know if. Hang on, let me like bring twins? this. Bring this over like that. There we are. Look. So. Yeah, so I wonder if we if we can like bring up Alistair Crowley then. So Alistair Crowley didn't have to type much in to get that one to come up, right? Okay, so the eyes there oh, are like yeah, Alistair yeah. Crowley, right? Oh, it could be. I don't know. It might be. Maybe. Hmm. Mm. There's actual documentation of um, the whole thing linking it together. How it happened? Wow. Well, that wouldn't surprise me at all. The way that these bloody incestuous uh, bastards and Freemasons—it's like, oh, you can't be, you can't be, you know, like unless you're one of these special secret occult clubs, and you know, you can't be king or queen, and you've got to be like royal bloodline and blue blood and you know, secret societies. It's like, oh, it's God, it makes you sick, doesn't it? Yeah, they do look like twins. Last time I checked, anyway. Mm. I mean, Alistair Crowley, it, it wasn't like an average face, was it? <laughs> well, yeah. Average eyes. No. There's a guy called Mitchell. No, not with that face. Mitchell G A O C. He says he had five children. Bloody hell. Uh, five children. One of them. Uh, the, Jack the boy. Parsons. Who's Jack Parsons? He's the rocket scientist. He's in, um, oh, yeah. NASA, one of the people was out NASA, and he was um, real. He was connected with uh, Alistair Crowley. All right. Did you hear any of that? He says oh. Jack Parsons, uh, some, somebody of NASA, was meant to be connected to uh, Alistair Crowley as well. Was it, was it Alistair Crowley or was it Anton LaVey? No, it was Alistair Crowley. He was one of his. Um, I don't know if he was his disciple, but he definitely was connected to him. Right. Okay. So it was Alan Hubbard as well. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> who was it now? I think it was it David Bowie was in with uh, Church of Satan, Anton LaVey. Am I c correct in saying that? Yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Anton LaVey. He yeah. was Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's, <clears throat> I have heard that, and, uh, yeah. It was. So. The woman who got a, she had a scarf on and uh, got caught in a, a lorry or something. I can't remember her name. Oh, sh you did say her name, didn't you, before? Uh, and she decapitated her head, didn't she? No. Or was that somebody strangled else? Her. Oh, she strangled her. I thought you said she just... Oh. I can't remember her name. Just a minute, I'll find out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay. Yeah, he's into all different religions. Reli- he looks up all different religions and satanic and he yeah, likes last, history as well. He's probably trying last to find, time... find ways to mollify and, you know, like stop you, I expect. He's trying to find spells to, like, you know, make you calm down. Oh, no, he wouldn't do, he wouldn't do that. He's, he's, nah, no, 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 no. He doesn't like what I do. <laughs> right. Why yeah. Marilyn Monroe? I bet, I, I bet you he's putting holy water in your tea. Uh-huh. No, I actually bought him holy water. <laughs> it was me that bought him it. I'm not into all that, but I, get, I got him it. So, like Jane Mansfield. James Ma- Jane, Jane Mansfield. Jane Mansfield. Mm. She, yeah, apparently, yeah, she was in the Satanic Church with Anton there. Was, yeah. was she, was she famous or? Yeah. Yeah, she was a bit. She was like the. Like, you know, like, they couldn't get Marilyn Monroe, they'd get her instead. Yeah, she was a replacement for uh, uh, Marilyon Monroe, they couldn't like, get her. Uh, like, dog room, bong room, like a cheap hand as well, so it's kind of like that. Oh, mm, right, yeah. Mm, right, okay. Mm. <laughs> so, uh... Like True. So what do you think of that, then, Ray and Vacant Haven? <laughs> 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 On those bombshells. Uh, They've just passed out, them two. <laughs> He's playing a game, was it, on his phone? <laughs> oh, you're very quiet. Yeah, he said he was thrown out of Italy as well, was Alistair Crowley. By who? Mussolini. Mussolini. That's right, yeah. What about now, Matt? Very quiet still. Very quiet? Yeah, yeah, you are. You're very, very quiet. Yeah, it doesn't sound like your mic's working. Try and pull, up, pull the... Um, microphone jack out and put it back in because it'll probably ask you to reset it once you've plugged it in. Are you going downstairs now? Yeah. Okay. Right. He's buggering off. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's just lights come back on now. I was just going to so say, still, Mark... He's um... muted himself, though. You muted yourself. Hang on. Try it. <laughs> oh, it says... It, it says a mic... No, it's still quiet. Can't hear a word now, mate. What is he doing? Count to five. One, two, three, four. Too quiet. Way yeah. too quiet, mate. The only thing you can do is maybe go into your cam mic settings, the cog at the bottom, go to audio, right, like there, uh, where you can't see it, and then you untick the thing that says automatically adjust the mic volume and slide it up all the way to the right. Might help. Right. What about now? Uh, you're no. a bit better, but still quiet. Steve says in the chat, maybe he's just whispering. <laughs> no, it's just because I've had to disconnect my... Because they've run out of batteries. Oh. Oh, dear. Um... There are win- ways in Windows to do it, but it's a bit it's a bit complicated, so... Two secs. I've got one more set of headphones. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Mark, um, right, so you you've got these um, videos. What would it come under if people wanted to look up these videos of yours? Um, I mean, I could I could bring one of them up actually and play it if you knew the exact point which, which we should be looking at in the video, if it if it would uh, kind of illustrate the point if you want. Um, I'll just have a quick look. Yeah, I was just going to say the last time I was there before. I went with you guys i had someone contact me through my facebook group saying that they were the family of alistair crowley and that um he never lived there he never visited there he never did anything that all these people say he did and i was like is this is just another fruitcake you know You're so many attracting just like uh, matt does yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, well, people they do they they come across like you know authorities and like they you know they they're gonna tell you what's what. I mean, I I I would say yeah, don't don't take anything like that as read because I get people regularly um, writing to me saying, oh, you know that explore you just went on, oh, that's all locked now, it's all been locked up, you know, and stuff. And they they do it regularly, you know, they try to say, oh, you can't get in these places anymore. No, that's closed and that's closed and this is closed and that's closed. And they seem to take pleasure in just bullshitting. You know, uh, so yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it as red. You know, um, yeah, they said there was. Then I had someone contact me after that saying there was going. They phoned the police on me. The owners have phoned the police. The house is sold. 
Um, I was um, break uh, breaking the law by being there, and I'm like, you do realize this place is wide open. It's 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 in the public. There's no locks on the doors. I mean, the garage door doesn't even have a door on it. The whole place has fallen apart. I mean, you you, you know, it's, it's a it's a textbook example of what you'd say was like completely abandoned. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. And falling apart. I mean, there was a building. I saw a lovely photo. In fact, I could probably bring it up. Uh, let me just see if. What, I can... what are you doing? That can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Super. Sadly, we can. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Matt. Oh dear. Hang on. These are all. The, these are all the photos of um, what I was looking at earlier on. Let me just see if I can sort something out. You know, to kind of show you. Um, what was uh, what was there? Hang on. This one here. Right. Have a look at that there. That's the photo of the house. Now, I don't know. This is the woman who might own it, in fact. But look at this. Uh, sorry, guys, you can't see it. Hang on. Let me just bring you so I can share I'm, I'm the screen because you can't see it. Uh, share screen. Oh, share. No, what? Jackie's gone. Jackie's gone. Bye, Jackie. Bye. Right. So now you might be able to see what I'm seeing. Let me see if I can bring it back up. <laughs> Oh bollocks! Come on, why is it not showing me anything? Oh, there we are. Right, so can you see that now on on Streamyard? Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, that there is the house, and I don't know if this is the woman who owns it. Is she the? Does she look like the lady from the village? Do you know her? Um. God, that don't look like the woman I know. But so it might be when back. she was younger. But I mean, look yeah. at the difference here. Look at look. Right, the um, the garage and all the roof that comes all the way along here, half that roof's yeah. gone. You know, the doors yeah. on the garage. There's a small thing here. Um, the roof looks better now than it did in the past because there's a big patch on it there. But I mean, the roof now looks like it's actually been slated. Uh, but this building here has gone completely. That that yeah. thing there is just a pile of wood outside. That just looks like a shed. Yeah. Hmm. So I mean, the whole place looked quite nice, really. I mean, you know, quite livable, quite quaint, you know. And you could see the the rocks there in the distance that we were sort of like up on, you know, so right. there. But, last, uh, last person to live there was um, an artist from Saint Ives in Cornwall. Can't remember his name. Right. Ah, oh, okay. Um, but I mean, you know, it's, it's been a long time because obviously uh, it would have been, you know, 40s and 50s, I imagine he would have been there. Um, I mean, he was born in 18 something, wasn't he? Eight, late 1800s. And uh, yeah, when did he die in the 50s or 60s, was it? Something like that? Can't remember. I'll, I'll have a look now. He, um, he died, he died uh, December 1st, 1947 in the Hastings. Yeah, there we are then, 47. Now, his son, um, he's got uh, a strange name, so Alistair Crowley's son. Now, he was living up north, I believe. Um, Randall. Son. Randall yeah. Glare. Gale. Randall, he was born in Newcastle, wasn't he? Yeah, Randall Gare Doherty. Uh, that's one of his sons. Um, that's the one you... that brought up in Cornwall. Yeah, that's right. And it, but the thing is, he was actually called Alistair Ataturk. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and this guy was a bit of a. I'll show you a photo of him now. Actually, let's bring it up on screen so people can see. Right. So you won't see it, but the people at home will. It's this guy here, and they say that um, he wanted to take over the country. I mean, like, look at him dressed up in this regalia and stuff. You know, like as if he's, you know something special you know he's probably got he's probably in bloody secret societies and stuff as well but i mean yeah. apparently he drove he drove to london to have a meeting with the the prime minister to tell him why he was going to take over the country and <laughs> the, the prime minister has just said nah you're all right mate we we don't need you thank you very much <laughs> and there, there's alistair crowley with the sun and it says you know pictured with young randall on a west cornwall beach you know 
yeah. there's the house you know so i mean there's lots of uh, lots of you know references to this out there as being that's where he was in this house and he had a son who was brought up down in cornwall the mother was from cornwall you know it's kind of um yeah so What's up? Cornwall, What's up, Ray? Cornwall. Stevens Cornwall just sending, a... sending stuff to try and make me laugh on stream. So. Mm. Well, Random has donated one pound through Super Chat. Well done. Thank you very much. Very kind. Yeah. Um, oh, Jackie is waiting to come back in. Hello again. Hello. Don't know. What were you going to say? You were going to say something again. A strange Angel was a TV program about Jack Carson and he now is the problem. TV Angel. Strange Angel. Strange, <clears throat> excuse me. Strange Angel apparently is meant to be a, meant to be a series about uh, Jack, Parsons, Jack Parson and Alistair Crowley. Strange Angel. Strange Angel. Yeah, Strange Angel came out 2018 no, to 20. 20. Yeah, to 20. Right. It's a TV series. Yeah. Yeah, he's not watched it, but he just knows of it. So, right. Someone's just asked me if my um, house is haunted because my main light keeps going brighter. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. No. I don't know what that means. That. Yeah, that, that can happen um, when you've got like weird power cables in your house. It's nothing to do with ghosts. You know, if your power mm. cables aren't as they should be. But the thing is, as well, um, is Could it. your light going. It could be your webcam going brighter and darker, and it's probably making your fa like there now. That was your webcam, and it's going yeah, bright, brighter that, yeah. and darker. Yeah, so you know, probably just adjusting to the different changes in the light. That's all. As you move around, you know, your your camera will see. Mine went darker then, and it went brighter. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we're all see? haunted. Yeah, we're all we're all screwed basically. Yeah, so. Oh. Yeah, Susan just been donated. Well. Um, yeah, Susan just donated ten dollars. Yes, thank you, Susan, for your ten dollars. Uh, she says it's Matt. It's always good to see new things. A bonus, learning something new. Yeah, thank you very much. There's, there's something for you, Matt. Look at Alistair Crowley's links to Winston Churchill. They were supposed to be brothers. No. <laughs> mm hmm. I think I think it's brothers. Yeah. But when you look at them both together as well, you say, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's just scary. Mm. Goodness. Let's have, a, let's have a gander then. I've got to try it out. So let's do... Um, let's do... Uh, so we're going to have um, Winston Churchill. All right, we'll do him first. Yeah, and then we're going to have... Not Barbara's bush. Um, we're going to have, 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 have this, uh, there is a similarity, to be fair. Crowley. Oh, it's the Crowley again. Let's see whether we can get some sort of similarities going on yet. <laughs> right. Mm. Oh, brilliant, Ray. <laughs> I sent it to Matt too, but he hasn't. It doesn't sound like he's received it yet. No, oh. his phone's on silent because you were getting my during yeah, the people, live stream people trying to grab me in the middle of doing yeah. a live stream like let's ring matt at nine o'clock at night to ask him computer questions it's like seriously <laughs> like yeah so did you get the um face app you asked for matt the other day i sent you two links i did go and get it but it was just, just i don't know if it's the same one but it was absolutely trash on uh android it didn't do the same things it's just like rubbish so, um, uh, on, Winston Churchill, and let's do Alistair Crowley. Let's see, it's uh, Crowley, and let's see if there's any like, um, there we are. Look, people have put like, uh, oh, where is it? Let's see if I can. Oh, bollocks, bollocks, hang on, let's see if you can get this then. Right, there we are, still not lined up. <sighs> Oh. No, it isn't. No, it's not lined up. Hang on. No. Oh. There, right. Yeah. There. Oh, 
Damn. The noses are similar. They're both bald and they're both chubby. They're both blokes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Have you both got okay. some? Uh... You can't say that these days, can you? Bloody hell. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. What's that then? That's a bit mad, isn't it? What's that? Look at that picture. Oh, you can't see it, can you guys? Sorry. No, they, yeah, that's they the can't. one I looked at. Yeah. On the other phone. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not sharing my screen with StreamYard, but uh, it's coming out on the live stream though. Oh, so I have to wait a couple of seconds to see it. But that is pretty mad. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look how Same I was putting nose. like that. Same nose. Yeah. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah. True. Yeah. You well, got it, it was now, all yeah? high up, weren't they? So, mm. not surprised. Bloody hell, I've never heard that before. Alistair Crowley and uh, Winston Churchill might have been brothers. How, how would they have been brothers then? Who, what, like, uh, through different, um, you know, different, different women or, like, you know, sort of... Well, who was Churchill's dad? That's the... Yeah. Yeah. I know he was kind of um, aristocracy, wasn't he, really, Winston Churchill? Yeah. And, so and Crowley... Alistair Crowley's family were quite well-to-do. Yeah, so rich. was Winston's. Um... Churchill was born November the 30th, 1874. Crowley was born October 12th, 1875. Mm. Wow, that was quite close then. Very close. A year apart. Yeah. It's very close. Related to, uh, Roosevelt as well, Winston Churchill. Roosevelt? Yeah, Winston Churchill. Uh, so, Winston's dad was Lord Randolph Henry Spencer Churchill. Good grief, what a name. That's a mouthful. What try to say in that drunk? Was he sleeping around? That's the thing, isn't it? Um, you don't know probably. in them days. I'll just put this link in the chat, in the private chat for you, Matt. That'll tell you. It's called the Two-Headed Eagle. Yeah. Um, Alistair Crowley was Winston Churchill's brother, and it's a video on it. What you put oh. it? You put it in the main chat for the. For no, the in your, in your um, private. Private chat. Private oh, on the stream. Okay. On the stream. Oh, yeah. private chat. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's have a look then. So if I bring this up, it says the Two-Headed Eagle. Block. Um, Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley was Winston Churchill. <laughs> no, I don't think he was Winston Churchill. Um, no. Oh, we got the wrong one. Hold on. You put the Reddit link in there. Do you have the eagle? Uh, hold on. Do it. That's what he's putting on. They don't see it, but obviously. Isn't Boris Johnson on. supposed to be related to Churchill? Yeah. Um, well, there's an interesting uh, fact, I think, in the United States. I think all the presidents for the last yeah, bloody yeah. donkey's years, including up to Obama, are related. Yeah. That's weird. It's like that as if sense. it's it's like a bloodline thing again. It's like it's it's not. It, 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 so they, they say it's not a monarchy. God, you don't want to mention her. She's scary. Yeah, they yeah, say it's not a monarchy, but it's a secret monarchy yeah. because that's the whole mm. thing with the Freemasons. It's like what they do is they get what they want done, but they work from behind the scenes. Oh, yes. Whereas the monarchy are just up front. You know, they're they're like we are the leaders, but the Freemasons do it a different way. So I think what they did is it's like is, is it like an inversion? It's like Britain is like Parliament is in control and the Queen. Right, and in the in the United States, they wanted to break away from that, so it's an inversion, and it's like you know the Senate is in control, but it's run by the Freemasons, you know. Oh my God! So my God! Oh my God! Wait till you see this. Oh, here he goes. This is this is Alistair Crowley. I'm putting in your private chat again, imitating Winston Churchill. Really? Right. <laughs> well, I knew I knew Crowley was um, meant to be a spy, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah, there yeah, we are. Oh, shit. This is a wartime no, photo of it. Alistair Crowley imitating Prime Minister Winston Churchill, um, for whom wow. he claimed to have invented the V for Victory hand sign. 
That is crazy, man. He looks the image of him. Yeah. Any more pictures? Well, I'm just crowd, reading man. down now. I just know. Uh, well, I could have so, sworn that was Winston Churchill. Just yeah. You would have bought it where, actually? Yeah. It's asked the crowd. New Dawn magazine. Well, the only trouble is, like, if it's got a, if it's a, got a name like New Dawn, that's like uh, Golden Dawn, isn't it? It's a bit close to that. And the thing is, they would probably try and take credit for a lot of things because they're into, like, you know, black is white and white is black and let's fuck with your heads and fuck history and, you know... Yeah, it probably you know if you re read that magazine, there'd probably be articles in there saying like, yeah, uh, actually Jesus was Satan, and actually God was the devil, and actually, and actually, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's kind of one of those sorts of uh, probably oh, like yeah. bit like that, you know. If you think about it with Winston Churchill, that's a what guess, does that just kind of guessing. represent? Devil yeah. horns. All oh, right, yeah. Mm. No, he just said the uh, peace symbol. What did you say? The peace symbol, you know, the, 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 the upside down line is an inverted cross. Doctor. The guy comes after Ali Khan, who's an ex satanist who says Doctor. when they're inducted, one of the first things they do is they take a peace symbol and they break it. So it's like a Christ's arms dangling down off the cross, upside down. Mm. Yeah. They have to spit on the cross in Freemasonry as well. They've had to, they've had to cut Jackie off. She knows too much. Jackie knew too much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's, she's taken popped, away. She's popped back on. Actually, that was a quick off and yeah, on. I'm back. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just been an ask me uh, phone. It's overheating. Say now, that again. Is it's this a clone good. of Jackie? Is this the real Jackie? Well, you were doing like <laughs> really good quality. Don't you start you. You were doing really good quality earlier on. You were fast. It was like fast speed. Now it's yeah. all it's the usual jerkiness and breaky uppiness now. <laughs> yeah, it's just. It's overheating. I'll have to try and set up me something webcam. else later. Yeah, that webcam. God. Right. So, so somebody said that Hillary is. Um, uh, uh, what was it? Hillary and Trump are <laughs> nephews, or what is it? What was it? Cousins. Cousins. That can't be true. Not heard of that one. I've Not with all the fighting. No, that's a new one. That I've never heard that. <clears throat> I think we've uh, set something off in the chat talking about Winston Churchill. I've said someone called Magnus Steele saying he's not a national hero. Or... Uh, okay. Uh, firm finds Hillary and Clinton are uh, distant relatives, one says. And this other one says that they're related. Um, they're related as 19th cousins. <laughs> Mm. So. Yeah, well, if you go back mm. far enough, we're probably all we're all part Related of the same. Related in one way or another. Yeah, all yeah. part of the same fish that, that yes. like, you know, fell onto the shore and started to breathe. <laughs> you know, so yeah, probably. So, Jackie, someone says, put your phone in the fridge for ten minutes. <laughs> um, no. I put, I put, put the, the video <laughs> of that Crowley in the top of your private chat if you okay. want to find the voices. Right, um, in the private from, chat. Yeah, the, in the streamyard one on the top for the Crowley. Okay, right. Oh, I almost yeah. forgot. I almost forgot the tire. Oh Christ, that's a bloody advert. Hang on. Right. Oh God, not adverts. Oh, let me let me just play past the advert silently, and we'll, we'll come. We'll oh come yeah, back this is Genghis, Genghis Khan. The adverts for Streamyard. The adverts for Streamyard. Mm. Yeah. On my screen, how, anyway. how can it be for StreamYard? Is I don't know. For, like, action for children for me. Action for That's children. Not... I've got a StreamYard one. But... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but you're yeah. looking at the link he sent, but you're getting a different advert served. Yeah. That's what it is. You're not oh, going to get the same on. advert as me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nearly. Skip ads. Right. Let's see then. Right. So, if I bring this up now, um, I will try and share the screen with you so that you can see and hear what I'm doing. Let's just see, share audio, uh, that screen, share. Right, so that's shared. Right. Oh, here we go. It's coming up. Right, oh. so if I go to this now then, um, hopefully you'll hear. Yeah.
How far do we have to go in? Um, that's just the history of. Is the what they said they've been being there it's to do with someone died. Someone died in the house to do with probably. I've got okay. to tell you about that. Let me just scan through it a minute. If you go to about um, 452. <laughs> that breath from that walk. <laughs> yeah, that's still there. Is, is this an infrared camera? Um, it's thermal. Uh, not thermal. Spectrum. Hello. Cool spectrum, yeah. Did Alistair Crowley live in this house? Who are you? How many spirits are here, please? The voice? Put my crucifix on, I forgot about that. Who is here with me? What is this house used for? It's just stuck. What is this house used for, please? Dead? Um, Let's get out of this place and get into the next room. Children die here. This place is spooky as fuck. I couldn't imagine being here in a nightmare. It's bad enough coming up on your own. Hello? Hello? Who are you? What's your name? My name's Mark. You can speak to me through this. Radio. What's your name? I gotta say, I'm, I'm quite impressed by this. This is quite mad. That sends shivers down my spine listening to that. Yeah, there's that. just like bang, 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 bang. And it's crazy. I'm. I'm gonna press play, but I just can be on my back. <laughs> I just I, this is pretty meant this mad shit you got there, mate. I, ready, everybody, take a breath. Here we go. What was this place used for? Was anyone murdered here? Keep talking. Was any, was any children murdered here? 
Any children abused here? Give up your secrets. This is fun. Who lives here still? Who still lives here? That was his voice then. That's who I claim is Alistair Crowley's voice. It was him, keep practicing. Uh, it was me, keep practicing. If you listen to that and then listen yeah. to Crowley's actual yeah. voice, yeah, you will go, oh my God. Mm. Did you, did you not... bury the two up in your video? Do you actually go through it? Sorry? Did you actually like uh, marry them up in in this video? Oh, I didn't. No, no, haven't done it. You're right. Maybe you want to do another video where you compare the two side by side in another video. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, uh, I don't know. it was I a very to... very windy day that day, so I mean that that radio has actually got a small speaker on it, so I was lucky to get what I got. Well, no, it's very clear what's coming through. I mean, like you make the uh, comparison, so it's easier for people to understand what words are being said. But it, it does follow. I've heard loads of words that you're saying are definitely there. You know, it sounds to me like they are. So yeah. let's, should we play a little bit more or what do you reckon? If you, if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Is anyone sacrificed that. in this room? Okay. Okay, two meters going off. Okay. Okay, two meters going off then. I think you said cry then, didn't it? I don't know. I think you said cry. Been a while. Yeah. Let's put, let's put it down there a minute. Is there any children buried here? In these grounds. Light the meter up on the ground. Did Alistair Crowley live here? Before it said devil, I thought it said underneath, but you didn't put a subtitle up. Oh underneath, my god, really? Underneath. So it was like underneath devil keeping him. Wow. Oh. Look that back a little bit just before it says devil. Okay, okay. Right. I think it was just Ben. Hang on, let's go back again. There. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I that. did. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I want to know People what's happening. The boards up. I mean, what's going on here? Let's go back with a Maybe shovel. they meant keeping him underneath, like in hell, like in underneath. hell. Yeah. 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 But. God, I don't know. I, I'm burning out your video here, so you know we should keep something so people go across and have a look at it on your channel. Um, so, you know, I'm going to put a link actually. So for your thing, I'm going to 
just a Whoa. squad I'll go back and watch it myself. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you a sub. Um, yeah, I need to sub actually. Go so adventures. Click, click sub. Right, okay, there we are. Skip Don't forget out. to hit the bell as well. <laughs> hit the bell. Right. Yeah. Hit the bell. Just for people in the chat, because I can ask I can see a few people asking about how spirit boxes work. Can you let us know how, how they work, Mark? Is it Mark? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Mark. Ba yeah. It's basically yeah. it's just um some people call it a broken radio. It's just a wire's cut or a wire is soldered to another wire so that you've got continuous sweep without it stopping. But right, yeah. I've actually got ra radios. It's a Roberts R9906, which is quite an old model. And it's able to sweep, and it's able to just, like, stop on um, a station and play. So it just debunks the broken radio myth because it's not actually... It's not actually broken because it's actually able to do both things. It can play normal radio or it can scan. And the idea is that while it's scanning, because it's going over so many frequencies um, within seconds, to get a full sentence really should be impossible because you're going over, say, radio one, radio two, radio three, radio four, all in seconds, so many radio stations, and you're getting a complete sentence while it's scanning within seconds over hundreds and hundreds of um, stations so in effect that shouldn't be possible you know that's why they say spirits can talk through uh, the static white noise they can even manipulate words they can even change words I've had some communication where they've actually changed the words of a song for instance and I've slowed it down and compared it to the original song and the words are completely different It's like but either altering reality a little bit or um, setting up coincidences so that, you know, those words are there on these different channels, but you kind of, you end up skipping your way through hearing them. But, you know, it, it, if you were to listen to that channel, you wouldn't hear them say that thing. Any one channel wouldn't be having that word, but across them, it it is, you know, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. The first time I'm... I... I saw one being used when we were in the prison in Portsmouth mm. when Dan, Dan was using it and I did wonder wonder about it then. But <clears throat> yeah, yeah I, never, I, I never believed in it until I started following Proven Demons a few years ago. But the stuff he used to get was just like mind blowing. And that's when I started to believe it was real. So then, being me, I had to learn for myself if it's, you know, because you, you need to learn for yourself, don't you? And mm, yeah. that's why I started doing it. Well, the thing with um, Carl when we went to the prison, Dark Arts, is with him, it seems to keep saying his name. So, I mean, where's that coming from? Yeah, um, but we know he's probably, he probably gets followed, doesn't he, uh, Carl? Yeah. You, you will get followed if you're in this field. If you're, if you're at a level where you're getting strong communication, you will, you will be getting attachments and things following you home. I've had things in my house, um, the smell of sulfur, rotten flesh. Um, I've had priests run from my house. Okay. And it's, it's, sometimes it takes me months to get rid of them. But it's, it's my stupid fault because sometimes I'm, I'm so excited about going somewhere, I forget in the moment to protect myself. Ah. So can that sort of manifest itself onto anyone? Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. We went with Carl. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We were there in that situation. Oh, yeah. it, it, it won't bother so much with people that don't believe. It will bother with people that do believe, who are sensitive, who are, who are like tuned to spirit as such, even though they might not know it. These demons, these whatever they are, imps, whatever they are, will know if you're capable of being tuned to spirit and they will play havoc with you. And you'll be going, what the hell is that? Why am I feeling this? Why am I smelling that? Why is this happening? Where's my stuff gone? They play things, you know? They, they move your keys. They'll um, remove things so you can't find them. They'll cause havoc in your house. They'll make you argue. They'll get you depressed. If you don't deal with it, you, your whole life could be in ruins. It's all oh. negative, isn't it? I had, so, one, right. earlier on. I had one earlier on. Um, tap was on in the bathroom. And the first time, I was like, oh, I must have left that on. So I turned it off. And a couple of minutes later... I was like, I can hear tripping again. I went in there, tap was back on. 
<laughs> things well you're saying that things have yeah. been going missing and appearing in the same place that i found the other item mm. in, the, in the last two days i lost my wallet there you go and it found it found it in a pair of shorts even though i hadn't used them and then i less, lost my headphones this morning come home and they're in the same pair of shorts i found the wallet in, even though i've not worn them in ages wow it's mm. old, it? you're just getting old right <laughs> yeah <laughs> So old, I don't wear anything for months, and never use my wallet for ages. Don't, don't tell him about. Don't tell him. Don't tell him about the LSD I slipped in his in his uh, his drink. Yeah, but th this I've is the been thing. feeling great since Saturday. <laughs> this is this is the thing, though. Um, I mean, when you start opening up to some of this stuff, and you start going, "Hmm, what if?" You know, it's either going to go two ways. You're either going to go, "I'm not interested," and you shut yourself down, or things will start happening or you'll start noticing things and you'll start going, hang on, I swear, I swear that can't, that can't be right. And you, you find yourself doing this a lot. Like you, I mean, I, 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 I tell people, I mean, I see 666 a lot, you know, and the thing is when it's happening, it's like, it'll happen in, in waves. It's like, it'll, well, I'll Matt. see it there and I'll see it there and then I'll see a car number plate and I'll do bump and it just happens, you know, and it's like, you, you go, saying that? wow. I took a screenshot of your, um thing earlier that was today that was wow. how many videos you had today no <laughs> way <laughs> i was going to send it to you earlier but i forgot and i saw somebody else's video earlier on it had 666 and then i went on to somebody else's and it had 666 and i kid you not right i think somebody somebody in google has been taking the piss out of me because some of my no seriously seriously because some of my videos were 666 and they weren't moving wow right and they were they wouldn't move you know and it was like and i've showed people this and i went look at that look at that and then when i pointed it out then they started moving again and it's like you know somebody <laughs> somebody true. taking the piss like you know because i did my video of my uh my other channel starts with me saying everybody asks why is my channel named 666 because i've got another channel and they just are like you know and I say it's because I just notice it in places, and it's it's weird when things like start happening. It's it's not always going to be six six six, but it's going to be coincidences. It's going to be weird things that shouldn't happen that start happening, and you start noticing them, and you mm. start going, yeah. "That's a bit weird." Like your thing with yeah. the, um, you know, like your movement thing. I've had keys go missing, and I've been looking everywhere, everywhere, everywhere for them, and I'm like, you know, turn everything upside down. And then I, and I walk back into the bedroom and they're right in the middle of the bed and the bed's empty. There's nothing on the bed. So you're talking like a, just a, a completely clean bed where it's not like patterns on it, right? It's a shiny bed thing and they're right in the centre. And then, mm. you know, it'll happen again. And it'll be like, I can't find them, I can't find them, I can't find them. And I'm like, and then I've thought, well, they're not going to be on the bed, are they? They're not going to be on the bed. And then they'll be somewhere else that's really obvious. And it's just like right there, bang. And it's yep. like that happens a lot. And people, you talk to people about keys, right? It's a weird thing. Like, it happens. It does happen. I swear things move, you know, around the house. And um, it, ha it hasn't happened in this house so much, but I've literally been looking at things and they've come flying off a shelf. Boof, like that. Really? Yep. But you did an awful lot of things, didn't you say, that it attracted things when you used to do uh, your crop circles? Crop circles, yeah. That's right. Energies and weird stuff happen there. I mean, I can tell you about weird shit that's happened to us there but all day long. I mean, like calling, <laughs> yeah. calling for like this, like you know, whatever the universe intelligence is, stop this bloody rain pissing on me. And then, like over the next five minutes, it's like calmed down. It became like a mist. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I was really happy then because we were making a crop circle. There's no rain. And I was like, but then I went to the edge of the crop circle and I, and I was like, notice it was still raining outside. But it wasn't raining inside. I stuck my hand out, and it's like my hand's getting wet out there. And you come back into the crop circle, it's just, it's just like like um, like steam, you know. It's like sort of that vapor, it's like steam, just very very light, you know. And I said to my mate, I said, "Come on, look at this." And I said, "Look, wet, not wet, wet, not wet." And I said, "Then look up and look up. There's a big hole in the cloud above us, like a circle, right? Huh. And wow. the the clouds are blowing across." but they're not going through this circle, yeah? So the clouds, you know, the, the rain clouds, you can see them, and they're coming past, and you can see them moving, but they're not making it through this circle. That's It's just like a hole. 
I've seen I've seen we lots of weird shit over the years. So to, when people when Dan says to me, "Do I believe in ghosts?" Right, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. But but I'm is not it ghosts these, you I'm believe not, in, or is it something else? On a different paranormal. note, sorry guys, you, you've just had another donation from Susan. Oh, thank you, Hi, Susan, God. and somebody else did as well. Actually, um, it was something like heretic or something. Um, and thank you for your donation. And thank you, Susan. It says that happens to me a lot when spirits having fun. Do you know what I I find? Right, this, I don't know whether Mark wants to to say what he thinks about this, but for me, when I was having lots of stuff happening and around the house like poltergeist activity, now it doesn't frighten me, but I would I would be like, wow, that's really cool, because I'm I, I I don't know I'm I seem to be like the opposite of a lot of people. When I when something happens, I'm like, yeah. You know, go on, do it again, do it again. And it won't, right? And then things only happen when you least expect it. And they happen out of out of sight sometimes. Like things would come off shelves. And I go, do it right in my field of view. Do it there so I can see it now. And it won't do it. It's like as if it always has to be in the corner of your vision and out of out of sight. But what stopped it what stops it happening for me and would always make it go away is if I would talk to the spirits. If I talk to them, they they it mollifies them, it, it calms them and it stops stops it happening by talking to thin air and saying, come on then, you know, do it, do it and try, jump, don't want to know. The uh, thing you say about in your periphery, like with quantum mechanics and stuff like that, they think it's all down to observer-created reality. That's what it all boils down to. Yeah. And I wonder if the very fact of, you know, something's just there. I don't know, it's... Yeah. Um, it's most common to see for your peripheral vision things rushing past really quick. And they reckon that is the spirits because they move on a totally different vibration speed um, well, to us, you know. Well, um, my nan's place, she says it's haunted because she's got her mum's ashes in the front room. Um, and I didn't believe anything like that when I was, whenever she told me, but she's got, she lives in a detached house. Um, and one day we were around for dinner and suddenly from absolutely nowhere there was a big bang upstairs. But obviously with no neighbours either side, she couldn't work out where it was coming from. She used to say, she said to me once before, she had this like um, like ornament that was so, so big on top of the TV. Obviously when it, if it's going to drop off the TV, it's just going to go straight down and possibly smash on the floor. According to what she, I was told that it flew across the room. But um wow. She doesn't know whether it's because she's got a mum's ashes in the house or um, or whether it's something else, because it's not an old house at all. So um, Could be get, trying to get her attention. Yeah. Thanks, Susan. She sent uh, $5. She says, <clears throat> hang on a sec. <coughs> I swallowed something the wrong way. Two secs. <laughs> she says, I've been living around them all my life. Uh, they love being talked to just like the living. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be perfectly honest. I mean, sometimes I do talk to the spirit world, right? Because I know that there's spirits around me watching me, family members, people I don't even know. And sometimes I talk to them, but I talk to people I know generally in my life. In my life, right? People are going to think like Matt's crazy. Well, you you know you you'd probably do it too if you'd had as many experiences as I've had over the years. It's like you kind of just it's just a thing you go into. And uh, but the thing is, um. I'm often having conversations with them because I think they sort of like they they pop themselves into your head. They try to sort of like get your attention by pop, popping thoughts in in your head. I've honestly thought this over the years. It's like that's the way that ghosts kind of talk to you is by kind of like reminding you, getting you to think about them or popping an idea in your head. That's Definitely. just me. That's what I think. You know, you're channeling channeling them. Yeah. Mm. That's, the, that's the other reason I started doing what I'm doing because you know I, I was in a circle, but it's okay. It's okay saying such and such is saying something to me, or I'm seeing this, but it's not actually proving it, is it? So you know, being on YouTube and doing what I'm doing, I'm trying to capture, you know, actual spirit manifestation and audio of spirits communicating, and I know. From my personal point of view, spirits can communicate through white noise. Mm. Too many instances of, um, I can't put it down to coincidence, 
and direct responses, just like we had the other night. Direct. I mean, it's interesting as well because uh, mm. some people might sort of they'd go, "Oh, you can kind of hear different sounds coming across the radio," but when you've got like EVP, which is like everyone's being quiet, you've just asked a question, and then you get this sort of like whispery tone coming across the top of the the recording, which wasn't there. Well, that's very direct as well. I mean, that's I think it was an interesting thing because we went from doing the radio thing, which a lot of people kind of scoff at, and then went to the there were very, very clear, whispery voices coming across that EVP. So that's another level of how you can do it as well. I mean, do yeah. you do the EVP stuff as well, Mark? Yeah, I do. But um, I seem to capture voices direct to my camera when I'm actually recording. Even on live streams, I've got voices, of females, males, speaking right through. So I always look back at my videos, my lives, and, um, yeah, I... I I'll edit it, I'll raise the volume up, and I'll slow it down sometimes, just like I did the other night. People were questioning whether Dan was actually getting the words Alistair Crowley. But when I slowed it down to 75%, raised the volume, you can hear clearly Alistair Crowley. It's not pareidolia, it's definitely there. Mm. So I always try to slow things down and show it all different angles as such. I was going to say, if there's any spirits there now uh, wanting to come on StreamYard by any, you know, feel free. <laughs> feel free. We'll send you the link out in the in the, the ethereal realm. And uh, if you want to if you want to speak through Mark's microphone now, you know, and everyone will moan and say, what's that interference? It's not going to be interference. It'll be. <laughs> in fact, what I should do is I should turn off my noise filters, isn't it? To make sure it doesn't clean it off. Anyway, like, let's turn off my. Oh, actually, it is turned off. I have got my mine. Oh, it's all turned off. I haven't actually got the noise cleaning on. I thought it was, but no, I don't. For some reason. Well, someone else did that, Matt. Somebody's turned it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to I'm going to monitor if there's any other weird stuff happens around the house over the next few days because something's definitely been there. Now the thing is, it only happened today. It's not been happening since I came from that place. The only thing that I noticed today that happened twice. I thought that was a little bit out of the the norm, but. Um, it's funny, like sometimes you'll be up, I'll be upstairs and the dog will be upstairs as well. And I'll hear something go tunk downstairs, something fall or something move, you know. You know, I do get, you do get that sometimes, but I always just put it down to like, ah, it's just probably something falling off. But there's, you know, you hear things like that, but you never know what they are. I, I'm, I kind of, I always like to think, oh, there's something down there, you know, there's <laughs> something down there. But I'm not worried about it, you know. Matt, I've just had a message back from the two lads from Saturday. They said it's there's nothing really out they can um, uh, show us around there, Eric. It's pretty empty around there. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> for complete and utter bastards. No, well, they're good, uh, good lads for taking us in that place. But, yeah. But isn't it funny that everyone says there's nothing in their area because they've lived there their whole life and they're like, nah, there's nothing here. And then somebody else comes along and goes, look at this, look at this. And I'm like, oh, my God, I never knew that was there because you, you ignore everything in your area because you, you live there. So you, so you start so used to it. Yeah. And it's right under your nose and you just didn't know it. That's the thing. Yeah. But uh, so, well, Mark, I mean, I've got to say, I was quite amazed actually when i just listened to that you did tell me it was quite full on but you i you know you hear that a lot don't you with sort of like videos it's like oh yeah you know gotta see this but seriously when i watched that video i was like actually he's right yes that is a very good video you're you're absolutely spot on there mate yeah well Cheers. impressed yeah. well impressed thank you so you, you 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 know keep it up maybe get back up there um, You've had yeah, some things on camera as well, haven't you, Mark? And other places like sort of fluttery entities and stuff that can't be explained that shouldn't be there. Yeah, yeah, I'm caught some amazing stuff. Mm. Someone, someone says in the um, chat, Matt, um, you would like the one they found on Saturday. That uh, was G A O C Rewind Evidence and Review. Yeah, yeah it's Ghost Adventures of Cornwall Rewind. <laughs> oh right, uh, okay, I see. Um, we we should talk about what happened that that night as well because we went somewhere and, and there was something quite bizarre happened at that place, wasn't it? Like, yeah, that was <laughs> visible. That was visible. Shit went on there. 
Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what? Simon B. A. says it's the, Sw- it's the Swindon Spastic. What? The ghost of the Swindon <laughs> Spastic. I wish it was the ghost of the Swindon Spastic because the real the real thing is a little bit hard to bear. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. But uh, were you going to say something else, Mark, about other things then? Um, or should we go on to say no. about what happened later on? Because... That got quite interesting at one point, didn't it? With something that I would consider to be like a sort of like a step up or a, a different a different thing happened. Like not just audio, something that we we saw. Um are you on on about in a different place now? Well, yes. Yeah, when we went yeah. to the care home. That all started when you put those oh. diapers on. <laughs> <laughs> You took him to the cow. Well, that, 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 no, that, no, that maybe I summoned yeah. the spirit of the phantom shitter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Because, um, <laughs> you know, when you go to care homes and you start smelling weird smells, I mean, it could be the spirits and it could be that you need, need nappies. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, but but yeah, something something weird happened there because you know obviously you, you went there because you've had um, strange things happen in the past and and I was just there just to explore it and then the next thing you know then something happened which was quite weird which I wasn't expecting at all. Well, do you want to tell everyone? <laughs> yeah, no, you 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 tell them, you know, because it's like you know you tell them and then I'll 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 interject at some point, but you know. Because you I don't took, know which us, part you you're took about. us there, I mean, so it's only fair you get, yeah. get first dibs. Well, the, some of the stuff that happened, I didn't even have my camera on, but luckily enough, you did. Um, the banging, for instance, I think you're better telling it because, you know, you experienced it too. And I don't want to put words into your head. You know, tell me what your experience was. Well, you were, you were sort of like doing a little bit of a... Um, spirit thing and, and chatting and I can't remember if you were actually chatting in the kitchen because we were like in this yeah. kitchen room um, yeah. and then like we had this bang now you know bangs happen all the time when you're in like places like this but it seemed to be sort of like ha- it happened when you were there and you were doing something and we all went oh a bang well, what's that then and it was like then you did something else and you were chatting again and then it happened again and we were like mm, that's two of them but we'd been in this place for a while and we hadn't been hearing bangs. But like when you were doing something, calling out or doing something, there was like two of these bangs. Then we decided that what we'd do is we'd go and try and find out where these bangs came from. So I think, did we split off? I can't I can't remember the exact chain of events now, but we split off and you went down to one area and we went to like, well, we definitely went to another area that went upstairs, wasn't it? And we went... Yeah. We went up the stairs uh, to find out in the direction where the bang came from what it could have been. So we went through all the rooms. There were no uh, doors because uh, I believe most of the doors have actually been physically taken off their hinges because it's an old care centre. It's going to be demolished. So all the doors have been taken off their hinges. Now, there were one or two doors and windows that were kind of like ajar, but they didn't have a door to slam. So it's like when you were in this place, you could feel certain areas where the doors and windows are open, you could feel wind, right? But then when you walk a bit further in, because it's a massive, massive complex, you would feel no wind. So it's only when you went very close to these doors and windows, there was wind. So, but then you'd go, well, there's no doors to slam. So what was slamming? So then we went upstairs. Now, all the doors and windows in the upstairs closed. And that was the only yeah. place that had a door still left on. But it was physically jammed. So even though it was a door that we could have moved back and forth, it was physically jammed. I think the carpet or something underneath, it was physically jamming it so it could no longer move. You'd actually have to have wrenched the thing. You'd have probably ripped the door trying to move it because it was that stiff, you know. So that wasn't it. And the doors and the windows were all closed upstairs. So physically, yeah. we could not locate anywhere that the bang was coming from. We couldn't work it yeah. out. So that was weird. Right. And then when we came to that sort of like, you know, realization that we couldn't work out where it, where it come from, we came down to try and find you to tell you. And am I correct? Because I could be getting this in the wrong order now. I'm getting sort of somehow then we, we find you 
and you are on your way to the room that you've had experiences in before with this the spirit called Dave, who's one yeah. of the guys who's been there. Do you want to sort of pick up from here or? Yeah. Um, when we got into the kitchen, um, you wandered off to find your diapers and I put the spirit box on. And I asked if Dave was here and it, I didn't even have a chance to put my camera on. It Spoilers. went Dave, Dave. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And it so went Dave, Dave, yeah. Dave. Yeah. And it happened a few times. Um, and when I, when you came back into the kitchen, I asked if Dave was here. And then that's when the first bang started. It was a massive bang. And I was like, oh my God. So I went down towards room six, which is where he was, where he lived anyway. Um, he used to refuse to come out of his room. He used to refuse to be washed, to be fed. Um, and he'd just basically be on strike in his room playing games. So that's where I thought the bang came from, the first one. So I went down there. And um, you seemed to wander off somewhere else at that point. But I suddenly seen this light. I haven't uploaded the video yet. This light appeared on the wall of room six. So <clears throat> I think we spent about half an hour trying to debunk it. But I still can't. Still can't debunk it. And this light seemed to have lines through it, which is really weird. Because when, when I look at the window, there's no lines in the window. There's no curtains to suggest you know it could make that sort of like appear in the light there's no bars anywhere and when you actually showed me where you was it did not light up the wall so it, i i couldn't debunk it and i still can't you know but yeah because yeah. we were later on oh sorry yeah, go on we were wondering yeah, whether it was me shining my my torch and and whatnot but the but um the the beam that I would have got would have been a different colour, because am I correct in saying that your beam that would it was coming through the window from the left and shining onto the wall on the right, so it's coming from left to right, um, that beam looked bluey in in hue. Now my torch that I was using there was yellowy, so it would not have given that same sort of hue. Yeah. So it was definitely not my torch, and it wasn't a torch of anyone else that was in that sort of colour. Um, we weren't we weren't in in a position to be to be doing that. We went back to where it could have potentially happened, and we shone a torch through all the windows over that area, and you, it wasn't able to be replicated. But the funny thing was, as you say, um, it looked like it had. Uh, markings in it like if you're shining a torch beam normally you just get like a beam of light but this was like as if something was in the way of it and it was creating yeah. a pattern like circles dots and lines and it was like the That's light right. the, like the torch was being passed in front of like fit like if you imagine fingers if you ch shine a torch in front of fingers you get a series of lines <laughs> well imagine That's instead right. of a series of lines lines and vertical dots it was like there was a line and vertical dots or something like that and it went chunk across the window. Now, yeah, there's no nobody else was in there apart from us. We you thought know? there was people there, didn't we? We thought there were people there because of the the light. Now, did, was I there in the room with you and saw that? No, you came after the event. I came after the event. Yeah, because I've got a very clear. For some reason, I've got an extremely clear memory of that. I showed you it on the camera. You showed it to me on the camera, but for, for some for some strange reason, I've got an extremely strong memory of what I think is on your camera. Wow. And I don't know why. It's like as if it's like that burnt into my brain. Into your third eye. <laughs> ah. it's, it's a library incident, oh, no. Matt, at the prison. Yeah, yeah that's right. You there had a little bit of a... Weird, weird, weird moment, moment there, yeah. What similar? Well, it's like as if when we were going up to this room, I thought somebody had said to me quite clearly that it was a library or something like that, wasn't it? Was it? And yeah, I said, it was. Yeah, yeah, somebody said to me, "That's a library up there," and I said, "Oh, it's a library. Okay, fair enough." And then everybody said, "Well, why did you think it was a library?" And I said, "Well, because you know, so you you said it was a library or something of that nature." Yeah, I you thought Steve had told you it's a library, and it's we're a library. all like. And it's Why like, do you think it's a library then, Matt? And you're yeah. like, 
someone just told me. And we're like, <laughs> yeah, no, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we just said it was a yellow room. Yeah. Wow. Bizarre. Mm. That's crazy. So, and that was in an old Victorian prison. But but I I need to look at your video because we should we should. Um chat about this because i've got to edit mine and to be honest until i just mentioned it now I, I knew i had to edit it but i forgot about the ghosty things but now you mention it to me it's it's the imagery of that that light going across the window i've got a very strong e e vision of it in my brain and i just want to make sure now does my brain's recollection of it co correspond to what you showed me because I don't know. It's just like a very strong image. See, now that don't make sense to me because now I'm now I'm recalling. I actually spoke back to you, you guys, and I said what I'd seen, and you told me without even looking what was in the light. And when when I actually oh, showed you back on the camera, it was exactly as you described. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking back now. Yeah. Mm. That's freaky. That so is weird. Yeah, on it. That well, is weird. Matt, when we went to that last place on Saturday, Bizarre. I looked back through my um, video. It's not my video. It's my pictures I took. I've just sent it to Alex to um, show him what I thought I found. But uh, it looks like once I've taken one of the pictures, there's some kind of form appearing. Oh, wow. Cool. I'll se I've sent it over on WhatsApp to you so you can have a look because I've, I've uh, circled it. It's almost sort of smoky, isn't it? But obviously, yeah. none of you guys smoke, so. No, I saw something smoky come up off your uh, left shoulder. Then I was going to say, yeah, or your right hand shoulder. I saw like a waft came up as you were saying that. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just sent it across to you, but um, yeah, so I've actually circled where it is. But it's only I only because I took the picture more than once. But mm. I've only got it in one of the photos. The th the thing I've. This is the reason I don't do this, the ghost stuff much anymore. And it's not it's not to disrespect anyone that does it. It's because um, I, fi I find that it, it can be frustrating because things won't appear when you want them to. And they won't do it on demand. And almost like as if I'm, I feel like I'm being played with, like joked with. And that is part of it. I, and I found it a little bit frustrating to kind of like be so desperate to want to kind of prove it. And the more, the harder you go, the more you get pushed back. And it's when you don't want it or when you can't show it, you know, it, then things happen. And that I found slightly frustrating, which is why I've, I've said to people, I'm not really dealing with this ghost stuff on my channel. Sure. Mm. And, and it's because there's, the, I believe in a thing called a cosmic joker, right? Because I think that, you know, yeah. It, we're being played with and it's playful you know mm. but it won't give you what you want it will not perform like a like a dancing monkey you know it's like you can ask but it's not necessary you're going to get and and that to me is why i don't want to go hell for leather on my channel for doing things that i do literally believe i believe in 100 percent, but i honestly think that it's going to take away from what i'm trying to do which i can achieve is the i can achieve urbex what i can't guarantee i'm going to achieve is results doing stuff with the paranormal and i don't want to sort of lead people down a, a garden path where they want stuff and you can't give it you know yeah. so that's why i yeah. don't focus on it you know mm. I mean, I did with this one, and people people were slagging me off, going, oh, what are you doing? I said, oh, come on, you know, it's like when in Rome, like if I go to Dracula's castle, I'm going to be talking about vampires. When I go to Alistair Crowley, I'm going to be talking about the spirit world and stuff like that. So it's, you know, but I do believe in it. But I always, when you see me do it on the channel, I always say, now to see what happens, go over to Mark's channel or go over to Carl or, you know, and I let them roll with it, you know. Even though I'm actually recording at the same time as well, I don't tend to sort of put it on, you know. I've still I've got the the same recordings they have, you know, but I don't focus on it. But that's just that's just me, you know. But when I see stuff like this, you know, it it, it buzzes me. I've got to be perfectly honest. Stuff like this excites me. Stuff like this is yeah. interesting. It gets me going. It's like ooh yeah, 
It's like, imagine a really great urbex location. You've managed to sneak in past the security. You've got all adrenaline and you're like, yay. Well, you know, the paranormal's like that too. It's like, yay. You know, it's wow. You know, I love it. Yeah. Didn't you have your pants pulled down down on you, Matt, as well, at yeah. one point? Yeah, and a, I loved different... it. I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> yeah. You know, and people people are like, uh, I was laughing. I thought it was great, you know. I it's mean, a good thought, way to react to it, Matt, to be honest. Yeah, because, I mean, like, some people are going to yeah. be scared, but I'm like, no, no, more. Do it again, more. You know, but it won't then, see. I knew it wouldn't. It's kind of like it was... People were standing behind me. They saw my tra pants being pulled down. You know, sp uh, spastic, right? Do you know what he's turned around and said now? Because he's such a toss... He's a such Honestly, he should, he's probably he's probably the spawn of bloody Alistair Crowley. I bet you if you checked his family line, you'd probably find it goes all the way back to bloody Crowley, right? Because they, they're wankers, you know what I mean? They're, they're wankers, these people. You know, they are nasty, horrible wankers. And the thing about it, right, is he tur he's turned around recently and said, ha, 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 that was all bollocks. That was me and his mate, right? Well, I won't mention his name. That's me and his mate were down there banging around. No, you weren't. The stuff we did with the spirit stuff, you were sitting right there and you saw it with your own eyes. So he's such a lying little shit. Now that might that that to that's naughty because if he's never experienced the paranormal before, he was watching me have my pants pulled down. Yeah. And he said he saw it and his mate. And they both said, yeah, we were just watching it. It was like your pants came down. And I was like, wow. So they've seen something now because he's such a tosser. He's like, oh, Matt's, Matt's breaking into buildings. He's such a wanker. He's a break. He breaks into everywhere. He breaks in. And that ghost stuff was bollocks. That was me and my mate. We were making noises to wind you up. You little wanker. You saw <laughs> that. You saw that. So fuck you. Fuck you! You saw that, so you think we're full, you think we're full of shit. You've seen it, you've seen it with your own eyes, and you're such a little wanker. You want to go and tell everybody that didn't happen now? Oh, really? You were wandering under building, banging. You were sitting right there, you arsehole. We ask you when it happens. We say, did you see that? And you're like, yeah, yeah. And it's like your voice is there. So you what? You were off around the building, banging. So you banging on pipes, is it? Made my trousers come down. Well done. <laughs> Such a little shit bag. Such a little shit bag denier. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, but we know where these people are coming from. It's called men it's called mental illness and problems they've got. They've got real problems. If you're doing that to deny what you've actually seen, well more fool you. You know, live it live it you know, if you if you know that's real, right, what's the way you're living your life eventually gonna lead to? Because you're not having a very good time, are you, with being nasty to people and lying and causing shit. Where's that Delusion. gonna get you? Yeah, it is just like it's bullshit. You know, so and I know they watch these videos, so you'll be watching this now. So my message to you is this remember what you saw and wake up and wise up because the way you're behaving with people and the things you're doing is not gonna end well, you know? Get a bit more positivity in your life, yeah. Stop all the bullshit. Law so. of attraction. Mm. Yeah. Because there's some. I don't know. It seems like he's on a bloody dark path. That one. But yeah. Definitely. Yeah, Johnny Webb says, "Come, Matty, show the love." Well, there's the love. I mean, there is the love, right? I mean, it is. that that experience where. You know, he had a, he had a chance to be mates with people to go and do some good stuff, and he saw some paranormal. Now, come on, you know, wake yourself up, wake yourself up. There is a wide world out there, and there are a lot of better things to be doing than being negative, yeah, and causing shit, yeah. And if that doesn't start waking you up, or are you in denial, maybe you thought, oh, I smoked too much weed, so therefore I didn't really see what I saw, yeah. You mm. you tell you tell yourself that if you want, but there's a lot of people out there who will tell you there's a lot more going on. So it's up to you if you don't want to believe. What just happened then? Oh. A, there's a fly. It's getting to that time of year now where the flies are starting to come in the house. Oh dear. I saw a couple of wasps earlier. That's uh, mm. the first ones of the year. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, she's back. She's gone. Oh, she's back. 
She's back. She's yeah, back. Yeah, just my phone. If it goes again, then I'll stay off. It'll be a lot easier because it's been a pain in the absolute rear. Mm. Looks a bit smoother, though, Jackie. You were about five FPS before that. Yeah, but that's it. It's just, I, I find when it's when I'm charging up on the phone, it heats up and then it just kicks me off. So it's like, bleh. I just have yeah. to sort out my laptop again at some point. Did you know there's things you can do to help that? You could turn the brightness of your screen right down. That keeps I it do. Cooler. I actually don't have it as I don't have it as bright because it really hurts my eyes. So I turn the. I, I even have um, when I'm watching going on different um, sites. Mm -hmm. I turn the the brightness off and I change it to dark. Yeah. Because I do know it does uh, saves an awful lot on your battery. And there's mm. also a so, mode called power saver mode. Now, yes, that that throttles your processor down so that it keeps things cooler as well. Right. So if Probably you use have to power, go into that and do it again. Try power saver and see whether it runs cooler when you're streaming. Yeah, I'll have to do that next time. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So definitely. Uh, but there, there we are. So I mean, you you're a fan of Mark. Apparently, you've been following his stuff that bef before I uh, knew. Yeah, I were, but until people decided to always upload at the same day as he does, and it'd be like, why? Stop doing this. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I have seen quite a few of his investigations, quite a lot, and especially the one at the care home. So I remember when he first started going there and all the – because you've had photographs, people – you've had photographs of, like, dark images in front of it as well, haven't you, Mark? Yeah, there's some crazy stuff we've captured. Can't explain it before and after you've got things that appear oh, yeah. and then when you pack pan back again it's gone yep so it's all pretty uh it's all crazy like so. these are like eight eight foot figures which look like can't describe it <laughs> like a werewolf face isn't it remember that yeah, one it's really darker than dark as well black black solid mass of a eight foot humanoid sort of figure can't explain it. Shadow person. Within mm -hmm. seconds, it's gone. Yeah. Live. Live recording. Yeah. I'll have to check some of your videos out, Mark. I've just, I've subbed to you, so I'm going to go and uh, check it out. Yeah, give me a shout. I'll still be back. Well, I was yeah, you've say... had all different. You've had coloured orbs and everything, haven't you? You've had them all in different colours as well. Yeah, I mean, there's people that say orbs are dust. Not but... coloured. Well, I'll ask you, look, you this, Mark. Right? Yeah. I've taken a photograph once, um, and in the image, it's like a long cylindrical um, thing. It looks like a tunnel, but basically, someone said to me, oh, it's just dust just travelling really fast past your lens, but it looks so solid. And I took it with a flash in a pitch black room. You ever come across stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. Do you no, know what they just... are? Is that dust or...? No, mate. No, you. You know, when you've been doing this, that was in for, this house as well. Yeah, I, I got. <laughs> when you've been doing it for a long time, you get to know what is dust and what isn't dust. You know, and people say to me, you know, I've just put a, a clip there for for Matt on the bottom one there in the private chat. That will yep. show you what a real orb is, the size of a football in front of a grave. But you know, oh, going yeah. back to what going back to what you just said, everything if it's in life solid, is in a good and it's got you know, and it's ingrained, sometimes you actually see pictures of uh, faces in these orbs. Really? You know? Oh yeah. There's <laughs> look on Google, there's thousands and thousands. But the, the brighter the orb for me, it's it's uh, and if it's got a vapor sort of vape on it, you know, a vapor sort of trail. It literally looks like a, a cylindrical tube. So it's got a yeah. hole in the middle, like a tunnel. Yeah, there are so many of them actually being captured. That that for me is a real light anomaly. There's only soldiers. If you look here. on Google, if you look on Google for light anomalies, you'll find one that looks exactly like what, what you've captured, if not That's thousands. Photo out. I think I want. It. Yeah, what you said, I'd like Alex. to see that actually. I'm sure I had one similar to that Whoa, when we, thank you, spirits. Uh, me, thank when you. we first started um, thank filming. You for it was in the, actual, uh, it was wow. in the church. That's it was amazing. near the end wow. of the uh, film. I want to see if I can find the image. Now. Well, my mate jokingly called it because we used amazing. to watch Most Haunted that? and that, and he called it a Cora's Tunnel, just taking the piss. A <laughs> Cora's Tunnel? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. 
I'm just looking at your uh, orb thing now. You know, I'll, I'll, I don't know, I could bring it up on the screen, but uh, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to bring it up or let people go across to your channel and have a look at it? It's no, I'll just lift, let you have a look. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've, I've seen it. It's impressive. Yeah, it's impressive stuff. <clears throat> yeah. There I mean, to it... prompt other people's interest as well when you show it on screen now. Yeah, well, yeah. but they will really end up going over then. That's it. Must, must get them to go across. Ghost Adventures of Cornwall, folks. Check it out. I will put the link in the chat channel for you, so you can go and have a look. But then, if you call it up yourself, you've got it, so you can then you can click subscribe. Then, so there we are. That one there that you're seeing actually happened on on. Um, it was a, like a direct response. I asked if there was any military or any naval in front of these World War One graves, and then that just appeared. For about five minutes, it was absolutely incredible. Size of a football. Mm. The only the only oh, thing no, I've had, ones, which is oh yeah, the ones you did at the grid. Yeah, we had, a, we had a weird one once where we went to do a UFO investigation. At um, I've talked about this before, so people might might have heard this story. So I'll speed up on it. Right, went to a UFO uh, guy's house. He he seemed a bit strange. His family were Catholic. So I thought Im immediately, I thought, mm, you know, so what's he, why is he having this sort of like strange stuff? And I was thinking, is it UFO or is it spirit? You know, I'm kind of like thinking those thoughts straight away from meeting him. But like, I'm thinking he's, he's not going to add up to much. It's not going to mean much. It's just his stories, you know, it's like, well, where's this going? I don't, you know, kind of like, you know, sort of listening to the story like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like that. And then he started telling us that he was, cre he creates these UFOs. And we were like, okay. So it was like, Show us what you what you've got then, and he's uh, he brings out these little models which really look quite amateur. You know they're made out of like um, uh, bits of balsa wood and things. But he's apparently he's been instructed in his mind to build these. They're important, and the, the, that they somehow channel the energy. That 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 thing that's been made, even though it's made out of balsa wood, and it's kind of it's got some sort of energy properties to it and it can channel the ETs. And I'm thinking, okay, it can channel the ETs, but we can't see them. Oh yeah. And I'm, I mean, cause I'm going through my mind, you know, skeptic head and I'm going like, right. So it's going to all be talk and we're not going to get anything from this. So we just go through it. Like, you know, and we're sort of, uh, so I'm taking photos, you know, click, click, click of his room and these objects and things. The photos come back and where he said these these energies were coming in, there's a big black line coming across the room in one of the photos. So that was like weird. So, but of course I didn't know that at the time because we had to get them developed. It was not like today where it's digital, you know. But um, yeah, sort of line going across the room. And then uh, he said, "Well, yeah, we're not really getting anything." He was trying to channel this stuff, and he was like, "No, it's not. It's not happening." And I said, "Well, is there anywhere else it happens? You know, somewhere else that you've, you know." gone that makes it happen he said oh we'll go out to the laneway so we went out to the lane and there's like five or so other researchers with us and we're all standing out there now i had old night vision not like the not like this night vision real <clears> big <throat> old fashioned sort of like night vision thing and i'm looking at him whilst he's chatting and he's put one of these objects down on the ground and um, he's saying yeah i'll try and channel him to come through yeah come on give us a sighting do something you know do something and uh, so I'm looking at this object and, and I'm not even taking in the fact that it's doing what it's doing because I just think he's got a red LED on the top of it and it's flashing. It's going ding, 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 ding. And I said, um, oh, cool. So uh, so what about the red LED then? What's that for? And he said, what red LED? And I said, well, the, the light that you've got flashing on the top of the thing. And he goes, there's no light. And I pull away the night vision. There's no light. So I'm like, oh, like that. So I'm like, oh, uh, I bet you he's got an... Im and I thought, I bet you he's got something infrared so you can't see it. But I can see it. I can see there's something there. like that. So then I'm watching it and it goes ding, 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 ding. It just takes off <laughs> and goes off. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> wow. That was bizarre. That thing you were saying about the black line through the photo... That sounds like the omen. Do you remember before the priest gets in pain? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah, don't yeah. say that, Alex. <laughs> I'm still Sorry. here. This was years ago. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like a sign, isn't it? It's like a sign. Things yeah. start Mark. happening. Yeah. Sorry, to Mark, I've just sent you some pictures on Facebook that I just sent Alex. I, it's I, pretty cool. Yeah. 
it's, you probably you have to find it in message requests and Facebook. Have you sent them to me on. as well, so I can see? I, I will do. I think I think I've sent these to you before, Matt. If I could bring them up on Facebook, no, I, 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 I'm the world's worst for like. Well, uh, no, I'll send, uh, send bringing to, things uh, up on screen that will reveal personal information and all sorts of shit I'm not supposed to do. So I'll have to. Uh, it will come through to your phone, Matt. Oh, well, that's not so bad then, because I'm better at doing it on the phone. Oh, OK. That was from one of our first explores. Oh. Well, you have, have you sent these to me before? I'm sure I have. I might. Uh, well, not if I've sent you something. Oh, why does it? Anyway, I can't. I can't really do it properly um, unless top I bring right, them up on right. screen. Yeah. Top Maybe left, the. Right. Uh, yeah. It, on this, you've sent them to me on WhatsApp, and it's really not going to be good. Hang on. It's just going to be reflected in shit. So let me just see whether. If I send these all via an email, hopefully they're small enough to all go. And if I send them via email, you could send them via email as well, but I'll do it now because I'm here. So um, let's see whether there's enough space. How big are they? They're only screenshots, so they shouldn't be too big. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can handle that. Right, so they'll go through to the computer and then I'll call them up. Because mm -hmm. I mean it's. You know, it's always shitty with a phone screen and reflections, and I'd rather have it proper quality. Because mm. Steve didn't believe me, because he was at the other side of this uh, abandoned church, and I was, I was at the how he got into this place. And as I was filming around, that just carried on following me a lot around the video. You know, when I was filming. Mm. So, so did you see it with your eye or through the I lens? I saw it through. I saw it through the camera. Obviously, I'm using my phone, but. It's quite clear, obviously, from the photos. Um, there's something there. Mm. Wow. Oh, she's back on. She wants to split us up again. Look, split our screen up. Go on, you said you were no, going to come I, back I on. No, I put it on. I put the uh, thingy saver on. That's what I want and did. You want so... to find out whether it's going to work now, don't you? Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, I'm down to 28%, so we'll see how it goes. Right, I'm going to create a new so... folder called Ray. And in that folder, I'm going to save those photos. Now, if I go to that folder, uh, I haven't got any. Oh, shit. I haven't got any. Uh, ignore me. I just talk to myself. <laughs> right. There's the photos. There's the photos. So what I'll do, is I just want to make sure I don't end up doing things because I'm the world's worst at yeah, putting things on screen and there's emails in the background and I don't want people's emails popping up right how do I get rid of that get rid of it get rid of it yeah right try that check you don't do it by accident yeah yeah I, know what you're I, like well. I am so bad for this um I was I, Le do you know I, I even Sorry, I even did a like a like video or something and I was going, yeah, look at this on screen. And there's a letter is on the desk. It's got my address on it. And people like saying, ha ha. You know what I mean? I'm just the world's worst at like just revealing stuff that I'm not supposed to reveal. So. Yeah. So then you end up bringing Matt up and you're like, Matt, you do know. And all you get is, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> right. Here we go. Then. I've, got, I've got it now. Here we are. So this is cool. right, it's slightly off center. Let me just recenter it. Ah, there we are. Recenter a bit more. That's not too bad, actually. Right. There we go. So this photo, is it this thing in the distance and you've zoomed it in? Uh, if, I can't see what you're... It's, we oh. can't see what you're doing. Hang on. Right, let me just... Oh, so this is where it goes tits up now, right? If I share the screen oh, right, with yeah, you as well. See. Right, there we go. Right. Can, can you see it now? Wow. Oh, so that's yes. the first one. So, yeah, it's in the middle of that weird circle. Um, it's in the middle. Yeah, so where, 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 your, where your mouse is. Where your mouse is. Yeah. Where your mouse is there, up, if you go up, you can see like a head. What, there, like yes, here? Sir. Yeah, there, yeah. Okay. That was that was the first one I sent you, but it's the ones after that, I was the more interesting ones. 
I don't know if I can really see it. Is it? Are you saying that this discoloration that looks like it yeah. could be in the ceiling? Yeah. Yeah. It actually goes. It's it's quite a long shape. If obviously I've not edited that that uh, version of the um, mm. picture because I normally do my street uh, my um, okay. snapseed stuff. Didn't do it. Didn't do it to that picture. But it's the other ones that I've sent you tonight are the more interesting. Yeah. You've got the orb that's there. Right. In that picture. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. You see the vibration. Mm. Yeah. And then the next one, which is this here, which mm. is a which actually follows the camera at one point actually in the video. Wow. See? Mm. Almost looks like there's two of them. Yeah. That's cool. They look like tubes as well. So yeah. this is this is video we were talking about here now. This is not photographs. This was caught on video. I've yeah. Um Wow. Because at that point okay. I wasn't actually taking any uh photos, I was just filming. So I was just screenshotting parts of the video. Hmm. I would like to see that as a video actually. You've got my interest, yeah. And I'm 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 pretty good at video analysis, actually. Unfortunately, I've uh, managed to explain away quite a few UFOs over the years, much to the disappointment of the people that have been wanting me to say it was definitely a UFO. But there, there's always things that you can't explain, and there, there, there have been some of those as well. I have had some over the years. but so There's the know. potential that we could show you this on Friday as well. This okay. place. So Johnny Webb's just put in chat rods, and I've heard that before. I showed oh, yeah, my I mate have. my photo of the tube. Yeah. And he said about rods. Yeah. So. Right. so so I think that's all of them then. We've got yeah. all of them there then. So I can stop sharing that then and I'll bring this back onto that. Okay, cool. That's so what are rods? Well, yeah, they're the, these strange like sky fish or something. You know, they um I have seen some uh, they have quick moving ones. They are, yeah, and it, what it is, it's like you don't see them because they're so fast moving, but it, it leaves like this trail which wibble wobbles. Now I think there's some good, there's some good information to say that that could be insects, you yeah, know, and that their 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 wings are flapping so fast as they move, they they create a trail through your image because they're traveling so fast. But you know, not everything is going to be like that. You know, I mean, there might be some weird stuff out there which doesn't correspond to that and it usually tends to be at night they get seen um but yeah they've actually captured those very rods um in one of the space shuttles in space <laughs> uh three of them actually flying through the craft with the with the space station wherever it was i can't remember which one it was it's to do with the the tether when the tether broke oh i've seen that is that also, yeah, the, the one where it gets surrounded by all them lights. Yeah, together. yeah. That's yeah. nuts. Tether breaks off and it floats off into space. Mm. And it's like thousands of miles away. And then you see all these discs. Yeah, it just surrounds just start it. Yeah. swarming around it. But before that, you actually see these rod light anomalies flying through the actual space station. Wow. I don't think I've seen that. That's interesting. It's an awesome video. Mm. Yeah, uh, we wasn't meant to see that, but I was like some happened. guy. I'm pretty sure he used to um, uh, intercept the broadcasts to the STS missions. Mm. So this guy had got all these archived, like recordings of yeah, the yeah. shuttle missions. Yeah, there's been a lot of stuff that um, they've been embarrassed about, and sort of like, uh, I mean, there was there was an instance where there was an object flying through space. And it looked like a piece of debris, and then there was like a flash, flash, which came from the area which Pine Gap in Australia would have been underneath, and then these two yeah. sort of choo, choo, come up, and then this uh, changes, yeah, and changes yeah. shape and gets faster. Now the thing is, they yeah. talk about it could be it could be sprites, which are these these phenomena that you get when you get thunderstorms. Above the thunderstorm, you'll also get these sprites. And they say, oh, we didn't understand that back then. So it was obviously sprites. What they don't explain is why this object is moving slowly through and then and then it goes and shoots off at high speed. Well, that's not sprites. The object no. is not sprites. 
So what's that? It's and almost the like timing. The thing that was flying avoided the things that were coming up. Yes. Some sort of missile, and it just went. Whoosh. I mean, that's coming out of the Earth's atmosphere. Two of them, boosh, yeah. boosh, trying yeah. to aim for whatever that is. I just, and then that just, it's floating. It senses that these things are coming up, and then it goes, woof, and it's gone. Yeah. You I know. just put that video that I was just, like the pictures I've sent you, into mm -hmm. the uh, private chat. And you want to go to just, uh, just before 5 minutes 47. 5 minutes 47. Let's do it. Right. I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to. And I do apologise for the shakiness of the video because I didn't have a gimbal at the time. Not good enough, right? But I, I just looked at that and I was and I looked at it thinking I hate this. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So I can so bring I... that up, but let me just let me just get you back up on the screen. Oh, of course. Uh, yeah. No, we can do this. Hang on. Share, share that one. Share audio. Share. Then go back to this one, right now. You should, you should be able to see it now, right? Okay, let's press play. Uh, any second now, you'll see it. So there's oh a yeah, one, and there's wow. A... Hold on, hold on. It just disappears. Don't see it again. Mm. There's me trying to find it again to see if it has uh, something to do with the light. But and you were looking at it in the viewfinder whilst it was there. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's really good catch. I like that. And that was in the daytime, you know. It's. Hmm. Uh... Let's have a look at it from the big. Forty-seven. Right. Let's get it forward. Forward. There you go. So I can go through frame by frame now. Oh, there it was. Hang on. Missed it. It's interesting that that happens right after the orb. Yeah. So there it is on YouTube. So if anybody didn't know, you can actually go through frame by frame on YouTube by using the um, comma and the full stop on your keyboard. It gives you frame by frame access. In case people didn't know. So that's that object there so yeah so yeah it just hovers doesn't it it's not and like it disappears whoosh. it's weird that it's like you can see the pulsation the vibration of it moving look yeah it doesn't look like it should have just popped out like that because if it was a light effect it would have just dimmed but for it to come like that into the and then unit, bonk, gone I would have expected it to dim out, you know, if it was a lens flare effect or something, you know, and then this thing popping in the top, popping in the top. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I've seen this, Ray, to be honest, mate. It's probably one of these things you sent me and I'm just like a lazy bastard and didn't didn't look at properly. You get so many people sending you stuff, I, you know. Yeah. Maybe I thought it was just a video of a church and I didn't look for the, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, nice well, this, church. This was before we were talking this video. This was back last May time I did this. Right. Video. Like I say, it's very close to where we're going to be on Friday. Mm. So if you want to go there and uh, have a look round. It seems to be lingering in such a way that it doesn't seem connected to to the lights of the reflection because I, I think above where you're there there is a light source which is always there's a worry a there's a window you know and that that's a worry with this sort of stuff but it doesn't seem to be corresponding to the types of changes in shape that you'd expect for a light source like that hmm That is interesting. And the speed it's vibrating around as well is kind of interesting. Like the, the, the way it just like pops there, you know, it's like a, it's got a marked movement, it just pops. I'm going forwards and backwards, by the way, here, folks. I'm just kind of checking this distance. And yeah. Because obviously outside the church, there's a graveyard. Gone. And it's just gone again. It's like the, 
the speed it just sort of ding ding bang gone so it's but the, the funny thing is I'm just looking now at it goes there and I'm just thinking about the earlier bit that goes as well it's gone within one frame bang and you were sort of sort of pointing to the near the window on the previous bit I'm not saying I'm just let's just try again so the initial one yeah no it's it's not quite the same hmm interesting and this is one of the only locations that hasn't really been touched at all in quite a few years but a lot of people have done this explore but i've not seen any video like you know with any evidence like this before yeah. it sort of goes into the window just looking at it at normal speed there to me It almost seems to go to the left at the end. So like when it shoots mm. off, it seems to like hyper leap to the left. Like let's go forwards and then so sort of like it goes in a minute it just goes bidink kind of right. Yeah. Or does it no? Sort of it just sort of like vaporizes into the middle of the image, but it, it almost looks like it, it could have been going left and up more up than anything else it seems to be like going up so up 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 yeah weird mm. Mm. don't know man that is bizarre I think, oh and there's an, there's a, a like just one frame of just one glimmer of it can you see it yeah, yeah. something pops back mm -hmm. in one little glimmer bizarre. very interesting I think Steve might like to look at this. My mate Steve Wills. I'll have to send that to him. Right. Bloody hell. Is that stopped? I'll put it in, I'll put it in the chat because he's I can see he's in the chat. Yeah. Oh look, they're all looking at my private shit. See, I didn't want to show I'm showing it now anyway. Look. So <laughs> I'll look at Wiltshire Air Ambulance, John Cleese. Yeah. yeah. There we go. But what can you do in it? You just cannot bloody control control what is going to end up on screen you but you're buggered every time so um well i mean i've enjoyed this evening actually i think we need to sort of follow up on on this um and, yeah. uh, and come back again but i don't want to spend too long because we you know we do get into these marathon things and i bet ray's got work tomorrow vacant's probably no. got work tomorrow no i don't not till midday so, so it's not an early one Oh, so you want to stay on then? Right, we'll stay on for five more hours then. Right, okay. I yep. don't mind. Okay. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Vacant, what's, what's your uh, dysfunction work. for tomorrow? Work. He's got work. Unfortunately. Yeah. Are you a busy man in the days, Mr. Mister Mark? Yeah, I'm a pimp. Are you? <laughs> nah. Okay. <laughs> no, I've got can a cafe. I, can um... I sign up for your agency? Well, you could pimp me out then. Say <laughs> YouTube celebrity, look, you know. Oh, get a bit God. of extra, get a bit of extra money. Pimp and my, yeah, minor YouTube celebrity. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a cafe. I'm going to start opening it again this week. Weather's oh. getting back in now. Really. Yeah. Oh well, we have to, when when we when you're open and we come down, we'll have to come and we'll have some food. Yeah, have a bacon sandwich, cup of tea. Oh yeah, bloody hell, Cornish pasty, Cornish yeah. pasty. That's the one thing that's <laughs> always lacking when you're on bloody explores is like good food, especially with mm. all this bloody lockdown now. I mean, the only thing you can go to is bloody McDonald's. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah, apart from the breakfast. Mm. Well, two more weeks and things should start shaping up, shouldn't they? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. There's still time for them to relock us down again, no? Oh, by the way, folks. Oh, I'm really sorry. Uh, we just got to lock you down again. Sorry. Yeah. No, he's promised, Matt. He's promised. Yeah. He did that last time. <laughs> yes. 
We we shouldn't even be locked down in Wiltshire right now because we were going down. We were like you know heading down to like zero figures, and he went, "Oh, we're locking you all down." Why? Did make no sense that. Yeah, Cornwall was on um, tier two, and then just went to full lockdown. Yeah. It's bullshit. Yeah. Made no sense. We were tier four just after Christmas here. Hmm. And then they, yeah, they we were tier three, and then they invented tier four. Yeah. The only reason I can think that they did that is because people were, you know, diving off down to places like Cornwall and Wales to get, you know, meals and shit, and you know, do things they yeah. couldn't do back at home because it was all shit back at home. So they just went, ah, you know, sod it, then we're just going to close everyone down. But the thing is, yeah, but it's still bullshit. What about all the people who are living in these places that you know shouldn't be locked down? Not nice, you know. Cornwall's going to actually. Well, I don't know what Wales is going to be like, but Cornwall's booked right up for the summer. Easter as well. It's going to be crazy here. People are not flying abroad, are they? Well, there's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You've yeah. spare five grand to fly abroad now, have you? It's a thing. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. You get five grand fine. Yeah. You still get the holiday though. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you do go abroad and you, you, if you get, if you get tests done, and you like, you know, can't you go? Because you can go to anywhere in the EU as long as you've had a test. No, Greece is okay, anymore. isn't it? Greece, is, Greece are not going to be doing anything about it. Um, a few other countries. Greece is. Uh, Coronavirus friendly. Mm. Bring your germs. <laughs> but will you get fined by the British government for going to Greece, even though Greece is friendly? No, how can they? I don't see how they can. Well, they fine you for coming back in from Greece to the UK for having been on a holiday. Um, you... How can they if you quarantine yourself? I don't know. You could test yourself before you get on the plane, couldn't you? I suppose so, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. They just want to roll out these passports, don't they, with um, all of us having the jab? Yeah. yeah. If you're saying that, my wife was given a sticker and she was told to uh, laminate it because it could be her passport. Wow. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll have one of those then. Yeah, everyone's talk- <laughs> everyone's talking about faking up their passports as well. So uh, I'll be getting on that that one. Pretty so soon. do they just go on the card they give you after your vaccination? Then is that your I don't know certificate? I think that's, that's what will happen. Yeah. You'll just get a card, won't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, it's going to be I very mean... hard um, if you haven't got <coughs> your permission for your NHS data to be shared. Then how can immigration get hold of medical details like that? unless you agree to it. So, therefore, there is no formalised kind of system in place. So if you turn up with a thing saying, look, I've been vaccinated, it says, yeah, I have. And it's like, oh, okay. You know, what are they going to do? Mm. All different medical authorities around the country are probably handing out different types of bloody... Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Passports. Yeah. Microchips next. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we don't need them. We've got mobile phones. Yeah, exploring with tents. Exploring with tents is just coming. Sorry, guys. That's telling me. Oh, you may be yours. I know. (laughs) I know. It's just like that, isn't it? I mean, what what we need is we need an Alistair Crowley house to get us really excited, and we'll be up there. We'll be uh, awake. Yeah. 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 On that note, guys, I'm going to um. Sorry, I'm going to shoot. But thanks for having me in, Matt. Thanks, mate. Nice yep. to meet you, Mark. We'll speak nice to soon. You, mate. We'll speak soon. Yep. And uh, Mark, nice. I was going to say, um, one of the things I haven't done is I haven't done one of my footages. Catch of the, you. Um, yeah. Catch you later, Vacant. Yeah, all the best. Check him out, Vacant Haven. Like, subscribe. Do all the things. Yeah. Ooh. Is that telling you to get to bed, Ray? No. 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 <laughs> Fair enough. Right. They're all asleep upstairs. I'm um, so yeah, I haven't done like a, a complete copy of all the footage from that night 
unedited, which I normally do of all my videos. And for some reason, I, I seem to have skipped that one. I did Finstrel Bay. I did uh, various other ones. I didn't do that one for some reason. So I'm going to put all that footage um, into a file, upload it, and I will send it to you. So you've got a copy for your own purposes because you might you know you might look through it and you might see something you like or want or whatever oh, um, sure, and the i was going to say it would be really cool if i could get that bit of footage off you and i'll stick it in my video if that's all right with you yeah i'll send it off to you brilliant because that would be quite good because we we talk about it and then maybe what we'll do then is because that video is going to come out it's not going to be that long till that video comes out. I should have really got it ready for tomorrow for an obvious reason. Um, <laughs> Cause it's, uh, yeah, well, I should, well, there's still time to go and create some crazy videos for, for the morning for people, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, that, then we can come on and have a chat about it afterwards then, and we'll say, well, now you've seen the video now, you know, it didn't start off as be. I didn't think my video was going to be like a paranormal video, but it ended up being a bit of a mystery and uh, a little bit of a sort of like paranormal question mark on that one. Yeah. So it was weird, yeah. wasn't it? It was very strange. So uh, yeah, I look forward to do some more stuff with you next time we're down. That'd be good. Yeah, I'm going. Um, we're going live this Saturday. We found an abandoned mansion which goes back to Doomsday. So I'll let you know about this if I get in. Okay. Um, I think you'll find it quite interesting because I can't wait myself. Mm. Uh, what's this? We found another house as well, which you, I think you'll be really interested in, um, which dates back to the 1400s. Mm -hmm. We was in that the other day. Yeah, okay. Um, apparently, Melissa, Melissa Jones is saying, Oh, Mark, are you going back to the Dave care home so you can help him wipe his shitty arse? <laughs> Don't need to now, do I? Mm. Matt's took his diaper. He's well, fucked. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe he was jealous, you know, because uh, I was wearing a diaper and he wanted one. Maybe we should actually do a, an offering for diaper. <laughs> so, we'll get in there and we'll do an offering. Give him... Oh, <laughs> the candles and that. <laughs> yeah, maybe like find out, you know, because he, if he was a lazy bastard and he was stubborn. He probably like you know was into you know there's certain things he would have liked like sweets and things like that sweets and he probably you know yeah he might have been one of those that like just shit in a diaper you know that you do get them you know so like if you if maybe there's something in it I don't know maybe if we took some sweets a packet of sweets for him and a diaper you know you might maybe, get a reaction I don't know maybe we should maybe we should shift that diaper in his room. Maybe we should uh, make sure it's well sealed up diaper with some shit in it. But yeah, you can you can shit in it and well seal it up. Right? We'll uh, we'll 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 put some tape on it. Look, special. <laughs> don't don't handle with care. Look, right? Tape on it and we'll seal that diaper up. Oh, we'll put... some poor explorer will come in and pick that up and. Yeah, we put some we put, put candles round it, candles round a, a fully loaded diaper, and then a, and a couple of sweets, a couple of sweets, maybe a donut, maybe a donut in there. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, because all all um, stubborn mental patients like uh, sweet things, don't they? Yeah, could do with a sweet myself. Mm. So there we go. All right then, folks. Well, on that uh, bombshell. <laughs> On that <laughs> bombshell, we shall uh, say that it's probably a good time to uh, to say good night. And um, don't forget now, check out uh, uh, Ghost Adventures Cornwall. That's the correct name, isn't it? Because I'm Ghost still not Adventures used to your channel. Ghost Adventures Cornwall with Mark and Haley. Are you the only two people who sort of like really do the stuff on the channel, or have you got other faces in there that you know come along? No, we do the investigating. Um, we've got Jane and Ali that takes care of the moderating and stuff like that right okay so is you two guy you you two are the team then basically right yeah i shall have to have a look at some of your videos mm. yeah yeah pop over saying wrap it in cling film mm. cling film yeah well there's an offering on the cards for dave we must go back now yeah but the, but the thing is yeah i'm wondering whether you could trigger something literally with like, I know it sounds bizarre, but it's like 
things that would have maybe wound him up, you know, like getting somebody to pretend like they're going to come and clean him, you know, like, and, and then that might be something that would make him like, oh, no, no, you know, like I'm not coming out, you know, so maybe, you know, maybe you have to like, like role model play a little bit, like, um, sort Pretty of like, that. you know, get somebody to sort of, you know, mimic that they're going to come on we're going to get you you know we're going to get you out for a wash and all this sort of stuff and see if it triggers bang bang because it might be an emotional sort of state then you yeah know, if he's yeah, sort we've, of, we've done that you've tried it tried the good cop bad cop right any good did you get reactions really bad poltergeist activity worse bangs than what you heard yourself yeah Ooh. Um, what one one night in there, Dave decided to use. I mean, I've, I've never been a fan of Ouija boards, and I did say um, Haley brought a friend with her, and I said I don't want to be part of this because I don't really believe in them. Mm. I, I think people push them, you know, push the. Yeah. But anyway, um, I went off into a different direction, live on camera, and I whispered into the camera my secret question, and I gave them the secret answer that Haley and uh, Tara didn't know about. Mm -hmm. It not only told, not only came through the board, what my secret, um, the, the answer to my secret question was, but it then went to go on to say the name of my dad, um, the name of um, the street I grew up on, uh, the name of my uncle, my mother's first name, my brother's first name, things that people didn't even know, you know? And I was just like blown away by it. I was like, oh, my God. And then it finished with test, as if, like, this is a test to show you that it's not a, it's not fake. It can be real. Mm. I was absolutely gobsmacked by it. I still can't get over it. Yeah, I, I reserve judgment on it because I've done some stuff where I think that people were pushing the glass a few times, you know, so I kind of, like, given that, given that a miss. But, you know, I'm not saying it can't be correct but uh yeah i mean I, I i think as well that um it, it wasn't consciously being pushed it's subconsciously being pushed because yeah. i think what you get is you either get real spirits or you get somebody subconscious comes through and starts manipulating the the, the sort 100%. of percent you know so yeah. you you can end up getting like playful bullshit coming from sub somebody's subconscious you know and uh definitely but, yeah, as you say, if it's stuff that people don't know, and wouldn't know, and it's coming out of a you know another another realm, then that's interesting. So, it sure was for me. That's what I'm interested in. Is good good proof. Oops, good proof. But I, I you know I specifically asked not to be part of it as well. That's that's one of the things that got me, but it chose me. Mm. So I I actually tested it. I said, right, I'm going to put you to the test. I'm going to go away, whisper into the camera. I took their phones, so I whispered in the camera what I was going to say and what the answer was, and it came out exactly. There's no way on earth they could have heard me. No way. Mm. But not only that, they knew this board knew about my dad. Haley didn't know my dad's first name. Didn't know that he worked in the Ford Motor Factory. Didn't know loads of things. All the stuff that was coming out about my uncle, about me doing boxing when I was younger. It was just like, whoa. <laughs> and it just finished with test. As if, like, this was a test to show you, you know, you shouldn't judge unless you know the truth. Yeah. That's a good uh, good way to get that sort of message come across, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go off. Oh. That was weird then. That was just well, then. voice coming through. I don't know, maybe we're getting voices, spirit phenomena. Then. What's going on? <laughs> My whole stream yard went down. That was weird. All oh, right. Because like I had a, a sort of like weird sound then, you know, sort of came through like as if it was my voice coming through your speaker, but you hadn't said anything. I don't know what it was. We'll have to replay that. It sounded like it, it sounded like there was something there, actually, but I, I'm not going to say there was. I'm just, you know... Did anybody? Oh, don't. Did anybody um, pick that up? Did they hear anything weird? Because they said, "What was that?" They said, "Yeah." yeah. So I, I don't know. We'll have to replay this. Play the stream afterwards. Be right at the end. If we make it the end, then we'll know where to look. 
Oh, but I am get, I'm starting to get quite, uh, you know, so I'm going to have to get to bed, I think. No more editing for me tonight. Ghost in the Machine, Spirit, it's Dave. It's Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> it's Dave. Will do, Melissa. You're my wife now. It's Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. Right, yeah, the screen glitched. Okay, then, guys. Well, thank you, Mark. It's been very kind for you to come on at short notice. I'm such a, an, uh, a like a pain in the arse. I just do streams when I feel like it. You know, I've got no formality behind it. But if I can, I'll try and arrange better with you next time. So yeah, thanks for inviting me. When you end the stream, I'll just have a chat with you, Matt, about Friday if we can. Okay. Good yeah. Do. Not yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you, Roy. And you, okay. Mark. Cheers, mate. Take care, sure. everyone in the chat. So if you haven't clicked Hi. like, if you haven't clicked like, click like now on the thing, uh, because if you don't, we're going to send the boys round. Um, otherwise, uh, and thanks to Mark again, because he's just disappeared. Um, and I'm going to say, right, well, that's the end then, folks. I'm also crossing my legs. So Ray's probably going to have to yeah. put up with me, pop, pop into the loo for a second, and then I'll come back. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the same. Oh, let's, <laughs> let's, let's leave. Right, we're going to say goodbye now. Both of us are going to go to the toilet. And on that bombshell, good night.